Hello, hi, welcome to DN Dorks. Uh, I am your Matt, the new host. No, um, I'm Jess. Some of you know me, especially if you've been watching Minor Interactions. Um, and I'm hosting tonight. Uh, and Matt is on a new computer, which is exciting. I am. Uh, I'm hoping you can hear everyone, chat. Uh, yes. I'll, I'll cut into Jess's intro really quick, though you probably guessed this if you saw the starting screen, screen just a second ago, and then I'll do Discord announcements and stuff. Uh, joyous day. This is the first D and Dorks episode on our new system. So we have, uh, I have a new PC, not a Mac. Finally, after two years of the show, I have a Mac, uh, or I have a PC. Something's echoing. I'm, am I echoing? Um. Yeah, chat says it's echoing. Um, I might be able to fix that, actually. Uh, what if I just... Oh, no, someone said the echo was on their end. Hey, we're good. Uh-huh. Okay. You nice, sp- nice, nice. Spider-Man 27. Thir- you're, you. you're lucky I recognize your name. You're lucky you're a regular. Uh, anyway, <laughs> now after that brief scare, <laughs> which is a great little example, there will probably be some audio issues, some balancing things. There will maybe be some camera issues. Uh, if you see those, let us know. It should just be new system problems. Everything should work better from here. I have not really added anything new for today. It's just making sure everything that we already had still works. And then our tech will start ramping up in quality, uh, hopefully next week. So with that all said, just keep an eye out for any issues. Let us know. Just back to you. Yeah, like Matt said, anything that happens that goes wrong, it's just temporary problems, um, which is also the name of our episode today. Excellent. Temporary Excellent. problems. Uh, oh. Thank you. <clears throat> so... Today, uh, I've done something a little weird, and I've actually asked my fellow castmates not to look at chat. Uh, I'm going to be the only one looking at chat because I need your help with something, chat, and I need to keep it secret from the rest of the crew. Um, are there any beforehand announcements you want to do, or can I make you all um, take off your microphone, your headsets, and talk about you behind your back? Let me think really quick. We don't... Ha- I mean, the, honestly, the main announcement that I've got, at least, is... Uh, PC stuff. The only other big thing is uh, Minor Infractions comes back next week. Our, our little mid-season break is over, uh, so we will be returning with that. Usual time, usual place, everything essentially the same. Uh, I can also go ahead and say, I don't know if I've talked about this officially, while I'm not going to share any details, uh, our next d Dorks campaign is going to be starting, hopefully, it's a live show, they're scheduling things, of course, hopefully sometime in May, uh, probably like mid to late May, uh, it's going to be even higher production value than this one. It's very exciting. Look for teasers for that in the coming weeks. Lots of fun stuff. Uh, other than that, and like general, we have a Patreon, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's nothing else I've got. Okay. Anybody else? Um. Once again, go follow my Instagram. I'm close to 10k. Do it. He'll be able to post links on his stories when he hits 10k. An exciting <laughs> feature. Can't follow wait. follow my socials. I've posted for the first time in like months, literally ten minutes ago. So check <laughs> me out. <laughs> I did sponsor I'm videos so last week. You can go watch those if you want. I already got paid. I don't care. <laughs> if you're a sponsor uh-huh. listening, I care very much and would like to give you business for your for your product or company. And if you're a pinball company listening, please sponsor me. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think in that case, then I'm going to have everybody else take off their headphones. Okay, um, I'm just getting the announcements out to everybody. There we go, and I'll just take my headset off. Headphones oh. off. Make sure you're on mute. Can anybody hear me? You can hear me. That's a problem. Um, wait, I can. I think I can deafen people. I don't know. Oh, they're going to defend themselves. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone can hear me. Uh, chat, here's the thing. I've been lying to the majority of the players in this game. Um, they all believe that this is a regular D&D campaign. Um, it is not. The twist, the thing that has happened, right, is all of them are lying to each other about their characters, and they think they are the only ones lying about their characters. All three of them are playing level 12 heroes. All three of them are playing level 12 heroes with one level in every class. And all of them are lying to each other, saying that they are actually a high level adventurer. Uh, I have told each of them that their goal is to get through this one shot without being discovered as lying about their class. So Matt says that he is a level uh, 15 cleric. He is level 12 with one level in every class. He is a temp adventurer. 
everyone in this party is a temp adventurer who is lying to each other. Um, I've told them that I needed your guys' help with uh, some community input challenges. That's not 100% a lie because I'm going to be throwing a lot of undead at them. And I'm going to be, I, I want you all to just periodically suggest random creatures that could be undead. And if I see one that I like in chat, I will throw it at them. Uh, I think that is everything. So try not to spoil it. They shouldn't be looking. We should be good. Hey, all. Uh, Jess, the I, issue. Not to, to, you said there was a, that you were muted. For, was that an issue on your end or mine? Or do you know? I hit the button to deafen you all, and I forgot that you have to hear me for the stream. Got it. Okay. That's on me. <laughs> Thankfully, Josie was walking by, and she knew exactly what happened because she knows okay. me. Um, that's that's the second audio related like, audio scare today. Yeah. Neither of which have been the PC's fault. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. You're golden, this is, actually. This is going great. I don't want to jinx it. I'm not going to say that, but all right. Uh, so. Chat is helping me find new and innovative ways to mess with you all throughout this campaign. But, <laughs> or through this one shot. But oh, aside from that, what, how, could, how could I ask? What, chat would never would never do anything mean or cruel to you all, right? It's, <laughs> it's, it's my chat and they Yo, would. This chat I is know them horrifying. Well. Constant meanness. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Um, I, I mean, that's they're, they're wonderful. They're nice people. So our, our intro, right, is uh, there is a village, the village of Vilkos. Vilkos is not a rich town. It is not a wealthy town. It's the kind of town that you might stop in on the way to a better place. But the people who live there are happy. They enjoy their lives, and they are happy for anyone to come by. Unfortunately, recently, a crypt just up the mountain from Vilkos has had some problems. There has been a sighting of a lich in that area, and that's not a good thing. These people couldn't survive an attack from a lich, and even if they did, the town does not have enough money to rebuild. Uh, the town's leader, a man named, I believe his name was Norman. Um, yes, a man named Norman has sent out word to the Order of... Uh, God, sorry. Uh, the, the, the Holy Order of Prosperous Blessings. And he's asked for help to deal with this undead problem. And the Order has said, yes, we will send you one of our strongest and finest clerics, but we need you to protect him. And uh, this town doesn't have a lot of money, so they've done a couple of things. They've written a letter to one of their hometown heroes, hoping that he could come back and help. And they have also hired a mercenary. They pooled their money together and they found the best adventurer they could. These heroes seemed to be good enough for the Holy Order, and they have dispatched one of their clerics. I'd like for you all to roll initiative for me, and we are going to use that to see who shows up first in town on the day of the adventure. Jess, you can't just lead with roll initiative. Ooh. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, initiative eight. can be used for more than just combat. That is 14. It can, but I don't like it. What are my stats? I don't even... 18. I I play so rarely. Uh, Nat 20. Ooh. Okay. As, so you know, then it kind of makes sense now that you think about it. I'm who they sent for, after all. Yeah. All right. So I guess that means. Oh, it's Matthew. Yeah. Our wonderful cleric. Uh, and thank you, Matt, for being willing to uh, hear the backstory and be like, yes, I will play that character. Yeah, it's a fun um, You are. It is your turn to introduce your character. Uh, who are you playing? Uh, I am playing Bishop Omnigenous. Uh, as this man, you know, comes into town, I imagine it's uh, it, with great fanfare, of course. He's walking in, you know, horse-drawn carriage, very opulent, the kind of thing that you would expect from the professional cleric that's been hired to deal with this threat. Uh, but as he, you know, pulls into the center of town in front of the town hall, you know, wherever the meeting uh, would have been agreed upon, uh, the mm -hmm. doors of this carriage open uh, reveal, or the doors of this carriage open to reveal a very short man in very, very, very fancy robes that look upon a second glance like they're probably not sized for him. They're a little bit too big, uh, swallowing him up in their opulence and splendor. Uh, he kind of steps down 
uh, puts his hands on his hips with a, a gruff expression on his face, just sort of looks around to see if there's any reception for him. Somewhat ironically for me going first, uh, Omnigenous is not going to speak. He is going to wait and see who shows up to, you know, receive him with the proper fanfare. Uh, and that's what his intro is going to be. Okay. Well, thankfully, there is actually a reception. The leader of this town, a man by the name of Norman, uh, is he, so he sort of walks out of town hall. This man is old, right? He is a human man, and he does not look like he should be walking around, let alone running a town. Uh, he's wearing very plain peasant's clothes, green cloak, brown pants, what have you. Um, and he goes, oh, um, may the divine's blessing be upon you. Uh, oh, yes, yes, and, and divine blessings upon you as well, of course, in accordance with the order. Uh, I thank you, your holiness, for coming. May, may I know how to address you? Oh, yes, you may address me as Bishop Omnigenous. Please use my full name at all times to give me the proper amount of respect as it is due. Bishop, Bishop Omnig Omnigenous, I, it, it, I am truly honored that um, a bishop is gracing our town. Yes, I, as you should be. I take it you've been uh, briefed on the problems that we are having at, at the crypt? Of course I've been briefed. Yes, it would be ridiculous if I had not. But just so that we're on the same page, what do you know about the situation? This is becoming Matt Berry already, and I'm kind of vibing with it. <laughs> what do you know about the situation? <laughs> Uh, there, there's an old crypt, an, an old crypt up, uh, up the road, and it, it's, uh, we've had a few sightings of a lich up there, and I know, I know liches are quite, quite dangerous, quite, quite bad, and I'm hoping to get it taken care of before, uh, it becomes a problem for the town. I, I fear we would not survive such an attack. You're... Your guards um, have not arrived yet. I apologize, but they, they should be here at any moment. And with, with that, I think, uh, who was it? Mike, you were next, right? You had an 18? Yes. yes. Um, I think this is about time for your character to show up if you are willing. Can you tell, walk us through what that looks like? I certainly am. Riding in on not the most impressive steed, but a steed nonetheless comes a man carrying himself with some amount of grandeur. His name is Tywin, all capital letters, but here he is Ty T Tywin Tatley, for he is a son of this fair, humble town. And while he has left and become a great adventurer in his own right and many of his exploits he has written about and communicated to the town, he has come back to, of course, assist them uh and about my character mechanically i am a paddle i am a paladin i am level 12 and i am a half elf oh like before i sorry good before i forget um when i asked people i like doing split level parties i think it's fun i think it's more challenging as a dm and i've been doing this for 24 years so uh i sort of let everybody pick their uh, class and level. And uh, you chose 12, Mike. Uh, yes. Matt just said, I'm going to be level 15. I was, and I said, okay. I was given the option. I, actually, I never said, uh, I'm a human. The whole point of this one shot is that a cleric has been hired. So take that as you will. Uh, and yeah, I had just said I could pick my level and that other people would pick 12. And I said, I want to be better than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is one of the larger uh, power level splits I've had in a long time, and that is fun. So, mm -hmm. Kaiwin, you roll into your hometown, and you see a man you know well. Um, you see Norman, and he is uh, looking very nervous talking to this very fancy-looking man. Uh, you know Norman. Norman's a good man. He's uh, maybe a little trusting, but he's a good man. And he's led this town through some hard times. Uh... Uh, okay, Tywin is going to hop off his horse, clap Norman on the back, and say, Loosen up, old man! Help has arrived! Waving to the crowd. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, Tywin, 
You came. It's been so long since we've seen you in the village. I, I wasn't actually sure if you um, were going to. I know you said you would, but I, we are relieved and honored to have your services here. Well, uh, this... it wouldn't do to leave the town that raised me hanging. Indeed. Um, <laughs> this is Bishop Omniginus. Uh, he's he is the cleric that will be solving our problems. Provided you can keep him safe. Uh, I suppose uh, you two should. If Tywin is like a, a notable folk hero, can I do a history check to see if I know who this is? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Okay. Tywin, how notable are you? You've sent a lot of stories to hometown about what you've done. Have you <laughs> bragged much Tywin? about your exploits elsewhere? Tywin's in... No. He's very much outgoing now because he's so proud and writes to his town. He hasn't bragged to many people. It's probably uh, a niche in terms of folk hero terms. I ha got okay. a 13, so I feel like that's probably a hard sell then. Yeah. How how badly do you want to be notable? Do you want to be known on a 13? <laughs> it's close enough that I'll give it to you if you really want it, Tywin. I mean, I probably I do have some like knowledge of people sort of operating in this area just given that it's relevant to the situation but your call you've you've probably heard the name i don't know if you'd be able to connect too much beyond that gotcha. you know okay gotcha. so then do you react to the appearance of mr tywin uh i look tywin up and down uh and you know there's like a little a, a bell gets rung in my brain oh yeah maybe i, I guess i kind of know who this is uh <laughs> And then with a sigh, he goes, uh, I suppose you'll do. You got a, not the most impressive horse, but whatever. Speaking of the most impressive, I think this is time for uh, Nikhil's character to show up. Uh, a little, a little bit of context. Uh, you didn't ask me what levels the others were, correct? You just told me what level you wanted to be. Oh. Am I remembering that correctly? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I heard that earlier. I was like, oh, interesting. One shots. Yeah. And so why don't you introduce your character and tell everybody how strong you are? Um, okay, so I forget where we are because I'm terrible at remembering things. But town in walks, town center, in walks, just walks, no horse or anything. Um, a older than you would think, Air Genasi, uh, with long flowing white hair. Um, who just sort of raises his hand. Uh, he's wearing very nice, very polished armor, looks immaculate, and he's got a magic halberd strapped to his back. And he goes, hello, I'm Theobard. I'm the mercenary that you all hired for this here extravaganza we're doing. Um, who, who's the guy? Where's the guy? The um, well-met Theobard? Theobard, Zuzu. You can uh, call me Theobard. Theobard, yes. Well, as you so crudely put it, I am the guy, if you must phrase it like that. My name is Bishop Omnigenous. I do suggest you address me as such. I can give you Bishop. That is technically my first name, so I suppose I cannot argue with it. Great. I, I okay. know he may seem unorthodox, but his resume was quite good. This may be the strongest paladin I've seen in this these parts. You're a, you're, you're a paladin, right? Yes, level 16 okay. paladin, sorry. Yeah. Level 16. Which coincidentally okay. one more than Matt. Yeah, I did hilarious. Not plan, but it is great. Very, very in character. I'm not this is going to hate you already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, Norman goes, well, um... If if you need any supplies from the town before you go, you're more than welcome to. There, there's a handful of traveling merchants that are uh, stopping here for the night. Uh, they're, they're a crew that we know quite well. Um, and he points to a, a group of gnomes with a um, cart, and they look to be selling mining supplies, but they have some like minor potions and things if there's anything that you wish to buy. I assume all three of you have a pretty decent amount of money, so if there's stuff you want, I'm pretty much just going to let you have it. Uh, um, I assume if you want a meal like or need for the 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 job i've brought with me yeah okay cool uh where was the lich sighted last uh well 
It's a bit heartbreaking, but it's it's in the crypt, the uh, the Wickles crypt. Um, oh, not the Wickles. Yes. I know. Uh, so, Matt, uh, Mike, your character would know this. Uh, Sir Wickles is a um, is a knight of some renown in these parts. He's been dead for hundreds of years, long long before you would have been born. Uh, but his story is sort of the local folk story that is told. Uh, there was a dragon that had taken up residence in the mountain and caused a lot of problem for trade in the area. And a uh, a knight, um, a hometown hero from this very city or this very town of Vicus, uh, came and killed this dragon and was sort of immortalized in legend. He's he's the greatest fighter that this that this area has ever had. Um, and so his crypt is up the mountain where he fought the dragon right by his hometown. Couldn't be a better place. Um, and yeah, and his name is Wickles. Because that was the name of the Black Knight and Scooby-Doo. Uh, where are you? <laughs> what a night for a night. Um, Amazing. Canonically the same man. Same <laughs> man. No, wow. I just I was like, what's a good what's a good knight's name? This is the only knight's name that I know off the top of my head for some reason. And it's a good so, one. Thank you. Um, I love that it's the only name of a knight that you knew off the top of your head. I don't know why. Lancelot, no never why. heard of him. Uh, <laughs> Sir Wickles all the way. <laughs> yeah, Lancelot does. That would be better, wouldn't it? Huh. No, no, no. Sir Wickles, W I C K L E S, Wickles. Yeah, we love we love yeah. the Wickles. Not every knight has a cool name. <laughs> uh, Alas, poor Wickles. I heard many stories of his tales. It must run havoc on the morale of the town. It has. It has. Um, even the gardener that we have in town that goes and tends to the keep won't go near the, the crypt won't go near it anymore. Um, it's not but half a day's walk up the trail. Uh, you know, the, the, the one trail out of the village, you can either fork off it to the right and go on towards a uh, bigger town, you know, down the way, or you can go off to the left and climb the mountain and get your way up to the crypt. It's up to you. Well, it's not really up to you. We're paying you to go up to the crypt. Um, <laughs> well, in that case, I suppose we should take our money and fork off. <laughs> I don't understand young people and their humor these days, but I can tell from your intonation that it was a joke. Uh, yes, we didn't really have uh, rapport before I left, did we? Um, no, was, I didn't. Yeah, because it was quite a vulgar joke to make in the presence of a bishop. No, oh, oh dear well, me, sorry. Please forgive the young lad. It was in um, reference to fucking. Oh. Well, I didn't say the word. You said the word. So if anything, that's more... Like, hey, are you a bishop or is your name bishop? Well, those things are not mutually exclusive, sir. Your bishop, bishop. Well, name yourself bishop for the job you want. Typically, <laughs> my name is bishop. Fine. My name is Bishop Omnigenous. I am a cleric. And then he just kind of trails off, hoping that there's no further questions <laughs> on that topic. <laughs> All right, then. We've all made socially awkward steps, so let's say we get to adventuring, something we know. Oh, this party sucks. I love it. <laughs> all right, well, enjoy yourselves, and uh, please be safe, and thank you for all you're doing. And he, sort of assuming that you're going to leave, this old man turns around and sort of hobbles back inside, probably looking for a chair. Um... In the town, like I said, there's the merchants. You can stop and grab a meal if you want. Um, I There's not like a ton of NPCs in this town, but if there's something you're looking for and need to talk to, I can come up with something. Gotcha. Uh, there's nothing really... I, like I said, I, everything that I need came with me. So uh, if you guys have something you want to do, by all means, but your hands. All right. Anybody else? I'm good. Mike? Okay. We shall take the day as it comes. And as you start moving, the um, merchant group uh, approaches you, the, the the group of gnomes from earlier. Right. And uh, one of them, who appears to be 
uh, the leader, a man who introduces himself as Belmont or Velmont with a V, um, says, "Hey, uh, we've been camped out here for a second because we're we're a little afraid to travel down that path, seeing as we're going by a by a lich. Um, is it cool if we walk with you till we get to the fork in the road? The I more figure once the we... merrier. I suppose Excellent. if Excellent. you're not disruptive." I right, you'll you'll hardly know us. You'll hardly know we're here. It's just three of us. Um, we don't even really got a got a horse. We just kind of pull it ourselves. Um, and they're they're little like wheelbarrow sized wagon that they can pull is not too hard or impressive. They seem like a really small group of merchants. Tbh. Um, and so if you're cool with them, then they are going to set off with you. Uh, Julio. It's about a half a day's walk up the hill, and I'm not going to make you do half a day's worth of walking and roleplay because that would be awkward. Uh, but what Wait, I am going to do is ask is. that every yeah, is ask that everybody give me a perception check. I'm decent at this. I got a three. I got a seventeen. Got I got, a, got 10. a seventeen. We got a ten. All right. Well, um, bishop who may or may not be a bishop. Uh, you notice that one of these gnomes, who you've not spoken to yet, is staring at you. And she seems as if she has something she wants to say, but she's not saying it. Um, I'm just going to look directly, like, full-on acknowledge, look directly at her, um, but also not say anything yet. <laughs> just like, go on, out with it. Sort of makes eye contact looks at you for a minute, and then she goes, would it be all right if we stopped for a moment? Kind of out loud to the group. And uh, her crew kind of looks to the three of you for confirmation. I see no issue. Is there something wrong? Um, I just... I, I just need a moment's rest. Uh, Bishop, would you... Would you sit with me over here for a moment? What, what? Why on earth? Fine. <laughs> and he just kind of like awkwardly shuffles over. Probably, this, these are gnomes, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Amnesty is a human, probably around the same height. Uh, he just kind of like sits, he's just, he's just like, what, what, what do you want? What, is this a, so, is this a confession thing? Because I'm not that kind of cleric. She goes, no, it's not that. It's, um, and she looks around nervously and makes sure that her party members are out of earshot. She seems less concerned with your party members. And from her robes, she produces a ornate chest. And she says, I, we have this, and I don't think they would be very happy with me if I gave this to you, but I don't think it's rightfully ours anyway, and it might help. And I just, I think giving this to, I don't know, a holy person or something might absolve my conscience, but I don't want them to know. I and She just sort of hands you this yeah, box. Yeah, I just take it like, as she's still talking, no hesitation. Um, and is, is it locked or anything? I'm going to open it up and no, see what's inside. Completely first. unlocked. Yeah. You open it and there is a rod, like a like a rod that you might see for spell casting. And it's, it's, it's pardon? <laughs> Nothing. Sorry. <Go> <laughs> it's all good. Not the nihilist um, reference. <laughs> um. What I, oh, the rod. Uh, it, it, it's not the fanciest looking thing you've ever seen, but it is well constructed. You don't need magic to know that this is a magical item that you are holding. It is powerful. Uh, can I do an Arcana check on it to get some more details? You can. All right. Let's see how this goes. That's another nat 20. Wow. Okay. You know instantly what this is. This is something that you are quite surprised to see. This is a one-of-a-kind item that you have heard rumor of. It is called the Rod of Dogmatic Cleansing. And it is a very powerful weapon against the undead. That's helpful. Yeah. So I'm going to, uh, that's just his eyes kind of go wide. Like, gen 
I'm very surprised that uh that this random person that they just happen to be traveling with has this. Um, but he kind of like looks at it and then sort of collects himself, uh, closes the box, tucks it into his robes. And says, oh, yes, I mean it was it was good of you to to bring this to my attention. Thank you. You've you've done the right thing, bringing it to someone more responsible. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the rest of my crew that I gave it to you. They will eventually realize it's gone, but they don't need to know what happened. Right, it. yes. Why do you have this, by the, by the way? Um, we're merchants now, but we didn't, we, we weren't always. Um, we buy and sell our goods, but we, we may have gotten our goods other ways um, with shovels in graveyards um well, you, you shouldn't do that it's the sin or something anyway th- thank you for this that is uh this would be very useful for the task at hand and your services to the village and uh to to our god are much appreciated thank you and um i hope this makes up for some of what we've done in the past she uh, says yeah you're and- probably fine she begins to stand up and she's kind of like, okay, I'm good now. I think we can go. The sins have been confessed and everything is fine. It's just th- thank you again, Bishop. Of course, it is my sacred duty to help the people such as yourself. And uh, with that, I think you can continue on the rest of the way. Um as the as you get to the aforementioned fork in the road, the merchants sort of see you off. Um, Winifred, the, the the one you were just talking to, um, specifically gives you kind of a like a, a grateful and knowing look as she leaves. And now uh, you have a little time to talk with your party before you go on to the crypt itself. You can reveal what you've received or not. It is up to you. Uh... I think before I reveal anything, I'm going to kind of gather everyone, well, all two people around me. <laughs> all right, I suppose we should take stock of our various skills and such. Obviously, no offense to you all, I would be perfectly capable of handling this job all on my own, but it is protocol to have other people around as, uh, well, I don't want to say body blockers, but regardless, what are your skills that you bring to this party? Um... Well, you know, uh, as a mercenary as myself who has a long and storied reputation, basically my job here is to make sure you don't die. Um, should be pretty easy, I think. You just said you were very skilled yourself, so that's going to be helpful. Yes, that, but, but I appreciate um, your dedication. Yeah, I got, I got one of these. And he like holds up his halberd, and he's like, and lots of other stuff, so we're going to be fine. Great. No, f- no further questions. You. <laughs> Horse boy. <laughs> well, uh, of course, I'm also a paladin, so uh, fairly oh, okay. varied in the You're... art of keeping people alive. I can hurt, I can heal, I can block, I can sing, I can dance. I'm a qu- quintuple threat. Um, that just kind of looks you up and down and then looks at the, like, much more well-equipped and stronger-looking other paladin. Oh, you're also a paladin. That's great. Very helpful. <laughs> yes, it, it was. It is a little bit awkward. Um, Every good hero needs a sidekick, buddy. Yes, that's I'm it. Hey, he's making so much sense. Mm, no, I'm not your sidekick. And if you say that within a mile you. of town, I will throttle you because that would be not very good for my Don't reputation. Don't throttle a bishop. Within. <laughs> I am not going you to throw you, Bishop. If you don't hurting Bishop, Bishop, we are going to have a problem because I can't I mean, let you do it. He said you were going to keep me alive, and you said you were going That's to throttle me. That's the whole me. point. Yeah. So. I'm not going to throttle you, Bishop. I'm going to throttle him. If he calls me, he's sidekick. By my holy because designation. Because I am no sidekick. And shut up. By my holy designation for the duration of this oh mission, my. I designate you sidekick. Thank you. It's, it's okay. Everyone team. starts as a sidekick. It's a very normal part of this. You're going to be great. Dorian adventurer. A level 12 adventurer is so strong and so far along in their career. This is objectively hilarious. <laughs> I'm a level 16 adventurer. That's 25% That's better. 33% better, <laughs> 25. actually. It's a bit more of a logarithmic scale than that. Um... <laughs> 
Nah, every level is the same. The every level is the same. levels two and three is the same as 13 and 14. Amazing. All right, is there anything else that y'all want to get out before you get to the crypt? Oh, there are um, feelings I'd love to get out of my chest, but I don't think it's the time. I I do have a very powerful magic item on my person. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> Fair okay. enough. Not yet, at least. Right. Well, so then, so, in that case... So we continue forward. Yeah. As you we continue walking... the most important thing. The who is the sidekick. <laughs> um, as, as you continue walking, you reach... The crypt. You know it is the crypt because it is the only building that you have seen in a while. And as far as crypts go, it is it's a big one. It's ornate. It's a, a large single room building that presumably goes deeper into the mountain. Um and outside of it, the vegetation, the 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 grass, the flowers, they're dead, right? They mentioned earlier that they used to have a garden. The plants here are dead. Um Usually when you're walking in a forest or wooded area, grass isn't all dead, right? But this grass is standing up pitch black. Uh, it, what happens if I touch the grass? Is oh, it I'm sturdy? so glad you asked. Are you touching the grass? I'm touching grass. <laughs> hey, what's your AC, bud? <laughs> The sidekick is dead. Damn sidekicks! Twelve. 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 Oh my god! Wait, you do I have grass equip? characters consistently? What'd you say, Mike? I, I'm checking if I have armor. I didn't equip, but um, <laughs> oh yes, I do. I have chainmail. Um, that's an AC of sixteen. Okay, uh, you can tell that. The gra- it's like when you touch a hot pan. You know it would have hurt if you touched it for longer, but you moved your hand away just in time. Uh, you're pretty sure you kind of recognize this feeling from your adventures. That grass just tried to suck the life out of you. Also, mm. shout out to the person in chat who suggested undead grass. I absolutely love it. Oh, oh my god, what? Are they, like, this is this is taking improv oh, suggestions in real time. That was... <laughs> Oh, um, Jess, I'm already shit. scared of what you could come up with if you're if you're crowdfunding this. This is gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, that's from uh, Robobka nine thousand and one. Big big shout let for me, that. Let me ban them really quick. <laughs> Don't need <laughs> any more that, of that coming in. <laughs> Tywin jolts up and says, mm, "Grass is bad. Don't don't touch that. The grass is bad." Okay. I wasn't going to touch it. It looks, it looks bad. But thank you for yeah, establishing. See, this is something you'd learn throughout your journey. So you don't touch the mysteriously dead grass. Yes, once you get to the well, level of our friend here, you you'll understand. <laughs> well, something I have learned throughout my adventures is that every situation is a little bit fucking different, isn't it? So sometimes, I, sir, sir, the bishop bishop already asked you not to curse earlier. And he cursed first, so you know what? I'm the sassy sidekick, and I'm going to swear. Sometimes black grass will suck the life out of you. Sometimes it's just stone that someone worked very hard on and was very impressive, and you want to touch it. Someone please clip. Now, I'm but the no, sassy it's the first kind. I'm going to swear. It's one of my favorite lines. What'd you say, Matt? I said, someone please clip, I'm the sassy sidekick, and I'm going to swear. That's one of my favorite lines. It's, it's good. It's oh, my good. Lord. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, I'll, I'll still be right back. I gotta go. Uh, I'm the sassy sidekick. I'm going to swear, and then I'm going to walk away. Then I'll be back. <laughs> you got to back. You got to in the time. corner. Uh, so this this crypt, as, uh, as the sassy sidekick is touching grass, is it open like it's a building but it's like the door closed are there any sort of like protection things or locks on it that i can see any role uh, that i need to make to determine that i will i will do the doors are closed there's no visible locks uh if you want to give me an arcana roll just to see if there's any magic in the area you're welcome to um getting good rolls That's undead grass is pretty magic though so yeah. sorry say again 16 16 uh, uh there's nothing you can detect beyond the undead grass okay um Omnigenous is confident enough in that. I don't need to do any spells to, to determine, or at least he's not going to. 
Uh, okay. So, <laughs> as, as Omnigenous is want to do, I'm just kind of going to stand there and wait for somebody else to do something. And if nobody else does anything after a moment, I'm going to turn to Theobard to be like, well, you're, you're the guard. You go first. I'm, I'm not going first. And I say, technically, um, what do we think the odds are that you'll die if you go first? Because the, the, something could come up that way and kill you, so I gotta like... Okay, well, we put you in front, careful. and then I go in the middle, and then I, the sidekick goes in the back, and then we have a little sandwich with the most important bits in the center. See, that makes sense. So that's, that's that is what I'm we will... That's what we'll do. I'll go first. You just can't leave. It also just... Is Jess's gone? camera did go away just for a second. That. Sorry, my camera crashed. I got a notification okay, on it. it uh, I'm still here. I could hear everything. Yeah, I, I refreshed it as quick as I could. All right, so go I go first. And ah, perfect timing. Forward. Hey, good. This, this is actually going to be perfect. Once, uh, mm-hmm. Mike, while while you were busy, we decided that in the order of going into the crypt, you're going in the back. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Theobard, I guess so, you're leading the way. Well, now that he's back, uh, sidekick, make sure that nothing else comes from the direction of that way and kills him while my back is turned, please. Uh, I will now enter the crypt by myself. And I just... I'll follow like a couple feet behind. Shuffle All right. Along. So uh, as you walk up to the crypt um, to be the first one to enter it, the doors are heavy and they are stone but they they don't give you any resistance they are not locked or sealed in any way do you just continue to push them forward yeah okay uh you push the door forward and once once you've pushed it open uh there is quite the surprising sight in front of you you see an undead tarask you see some sort of zombie yes. gorilla creature yes. and you see a treasure chest off to the side and you see behind all of that a very tall man dressed in green robes this I'm man's eyes now. are oh, on fire <laughs> this man's eyes glow with an evil fire his mouth drips fire as well uh, this man looks wrong his fingers have too many joints his body has creases and folds in places that don't seem quite right. There's no waist at the midsection. Instead, it looks like it folds in ways that it shouldn't. He stands almost crooked, and he holds in his hand a glowing sickle made out of some sort of crystal. And all these things are just staring at me? or Yeah, oh yeah, they're just staring at you as you open the door. And Bishop, did I hear you yell everything okay in there? I mean, I assume that I'm like a few feet behind him to where, like, if this is a relatively small door to a bigger room, I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, that from my position, I can't see what is all in there. Yeah, so, I think it's just me opening the door. Yeah, it's and- you opening the door. If he's like a giant dude in armor, I don't think I can see what's in there from my perspective. So I'm assuming he oh, like yeah. pauses for a second. So like everything good? Yeah, no. I freeze instantly upon opening to the site. And then he yells that, and you asked if he had done that. So I'm wondering if that causes a response. The, uh, the, the man in green, his head sort of whips over to the area that you are, to this open door, and takes in this party. And uh, you hear words, but not so much out loud as you do in your brain, that just say, leave this place. I close the door. Okay, see, I take that... a step back and I close the door. Actually, we can't go in there, folks. Sorry. Well, that's... <laughs> maybe you're the sidekick, and maybe we need to reevaluate no, no, our see, situation. No, no, because what you don't know maybe is that they ask us sidekick. not to be in it. Uh, and again, priority is is you stay alive. And if you um, go in there, you're going to die, sir. So let's tell them we just couldn't do it. Also, quick shout out to Hobo Master for the undead Tarask and 
Uh, what is a big class? shout out for Doctor oh. Wolf for the undead uh, were gorilla? Nikhil, we'll brief you about this in the after show. The Tarask is the most notoriously strong D and D monster. It Good. Is, so it that, is, that's, that is a big deal. It, it is essentially D and D Godzilla. Is I think the easiest way I can what? describe it quickly. Yeah. The we'll, one that you we'll saw was small. It's not Godzilla size. Uh, it fits inside of a crypt. How man? How stupid? I think uh, I if think we're talking stupid, I could do something really stupid. I, yeah, let him go. Because I'm going to tell you, Matt, if you try to get in there, I'm going to fight you. I, we'll, we'll, we'll let the sidekick go first. I'm just, we'll let something, you know, one of his guards. At what Theobard said, Ty would last. <laughs> and here I thought today was going to be so very miserable. You are a fraud and clearly you have been trying to slander me to make yourself feel better well of course the crypt is going to tell you to stay out of the crypt so let a professional who won't fall at the first hurdle take care of this i okay? i take one hand i pull the cleric back and i just motion to the door <laughs> Tywin opens the door, pops his head in, closes the door. (laughs) (laughs) Well, speaker, do you want to go in? I think our first composition was best. I'll get to the back. (laughs) At this point, Omnegenus, who has not seen anything in here, and is getting very annoyed, especially by the fact that he did just get, like, physically pulled back a couple of feet, what is wrong with you all? I thought they hired brave people to protect me. Look, this shouldn't be too difficult. It should be fine. And then I'm going to step forward. And rather than opening the door, I'm going to cast Mold Earth on it and just remove it. <laughs> all right. You remove the door to this crypt. You see, again, all of these things that I mentioned. Zombie Gorilla, Zombie Tarask. What appears to be a fucking lich, um, and a, you know some nice treasure. Um, real quick, seconds after he does that, can I yeah. cast? I don't know how this actually like works because I'm bad at D and D. But if I cast minor illusion, can I make it look like no one's on the other side of that door? Like we're not there. To them? Uh, you know what? I want a roll to determine your reaction speed for doing that. What would that um, be? And I'm. My instinct for reaction speed rules has usually been dexterity, but this is a spell, and I will accept an argument for something else if you think there is something else better. Let me look at what my dexterity is. No, I can do dexterity. Okay, yeah. Give me a dex roll. Flat dex. That is a dirty 20. Okay, yes. You can cast Minor Illusion to make it look like there is nothing there. Great. So... The bishop rips the door off. You are staring at a Tarask, a gorilla, and a lich. They don't seem to notice you. Sorry, undead Tarask, undead gorilla, and undead lich. I've given you a weapon that's good against undead, so that is important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, now we back me, away. <laughs> I have not played a cleric in so long. Um, I... I'm going to go ahead, now that I'm looking at this, I'm going to use my divine sense. Uh, so I can sense anything affected, uh, or any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet. In theory, if this is an illusion, or if any of these are illusions, I'm hoping I won't get anything off of it. Okay. Well, so a couple things are going to happen at once. Oh, good. Uh, Matt, you're going to cast this, and boy howdy, there's a lot of undead around. There's not just undead in this first room of the crypt. There is undead further in. There is also undead grass everywhere around you. That's a good point. (laughs) And there is some undead mold on the door around you as well. Um, As you're doing this, our lich looks at the broken doors. And again, in that horrible voice that you'd heard before, but this time not in your head because he's not projecting it at you goes what the hell is that because there's nothing there there's nothing outside and he looks to his creatures and he goes guard this entrance i shall return 
and uh, just sort of sinks into the ground and is gone. Well, that's good that he's gone. Okay, but there are still like problems in the room. <laughs> you're, you're the guards. Go, go on, guard. We are right now. Guard more proactively. Okay, well, like, well, like undead, we can, we, uh, 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 paladins can do that. You, you can. Theobard, come on. I love the gusto sidekick. I think you go ahead and you walk in uh, uh, and you okay. see what happens. It's okay. We could just make them run away. That's a thing paladins do. I, I got this. It's fine. I can. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna look real quick between my two. Uh, my two guards here. Uh, I'm going to be casting protection from evil and good. Uh, my question is, do I want to use spell slots casting it on everybody? <laughs> Or do I just want to pick my favorite? Um, I'm yeah okay. So I'm, going, I'm going to cast evil or protect. I'm not going to cast evil and good. I'm going to cast protection from evil and good uh, on my favorite party member myself. Uh, so right. now, just for note, I do have that. Uh, it's concentration ten minutes. Uh, oh, and uh, yeah, I don't have to pick. It just works on undead. Uh, can't be charmed, frightened, possessed, and they have disadvantage on me. Uh, okay. Yeah. Are the guys in there doing anything, or are they just standing around the door? No. Where we just kind of yeah, they're just kind of standing there watching there the no door. There's no proactiveness in bodyguard. Yep. I don't know about sidekick boy what he was hired for, but I'm here to make sure you don't die. I don't have to go out of my way at all. But then, what are we gonna? Are we going to sneak around them? Or we can try to go sneak around them. Perhaps. Of course, I could handle them if it really came down to it, but it might take some of my magical energy. Um, what do we need in there again? I kind of zoned out for the brief. We would need the Lich to not be there. Mission accomplished. He's gone. That, that is a good point. <laughs> He did go further. Did that? He he's probably still in the lich. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. think the crypt. No, I don't I'm, think you can. I'm, I'm well aware. No, but the Ubart <laughs> is also fully just like, well, he's out of the room, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, we we should probably, if we want payment, go further in. And I'm, I perhaps uh, I should, perhaps I should reveal my uh, my trump card, as it were. I have this, and with a flourish, I take the um the box that I was given by the gnome out of my uh my my robes and hold it aloft. Yay! A trinket. <laughs> oh, oh, I put I, I take the box down, uh, take the rod out, and then with my other hand do the exact same motion, but with the magic item in question. <laughs> Oh, I get it now. It's a stick. It's a stick. <laughs> it's a stick. Great. Hooray. Honey, look at what we're facing. I I didn't <laughs> expect people of your magical intellect to understand the power of this rod. Not a stick, it's a rod. Those are technical terms. With this... Hey, that's sexual. Careful, Bishop. <laughs> With this rod, we should be able to handle the situation. Um, Handle the rod, then. I guess that um, you should give it to me, I, and I, then as your bodyguard, I can use it. So, Jess, with the nat twenty that I got with this thing earlier, do I? Oh yeah, know, you know how to use it. What? Yeah, you know how to use it. I do know how to use it. Okay, good. Um, yeah. how, point and cast, baby. What did you say? The point and cast, baby. Point and cast. Okay. Uh, do I know how many? uses if any it has or like, like you do how not many limited uses okay you don't even know if it, it has a limit got it this that, is a legendary item yeah that makes sense um I, so after i think another like comedically long moment of no one doing anything and just standing there um i'm just gonna go well if if it falls to me i do have yep. this Give me the thing. Do you and know how to you, you, you won't risk yourself. 
Do you know how to use I, this? Just, if you hand it to me, then we can we can look at it, can't we? We can look at it in my hand. I'll hold it out. It works see. better if I could hold the thingy, actually. I, I, I feel more comfortable if I'm holding the thing. I... I can't let you fight him alone, bud, so you're gonna need to give me the weapon. Do you wanna die? Do you wanna go in there and die? I, I, I suppose I am a cleric of high enough caliber that I don't need to rely on tools like someone of your skill would. Of course, that, that does make sense. So, here. And, like, he holds out the rod and you take it and there's, like... A it. second of him kind of holding onto it, and then he finally releases his grip. Um, okay, and then I want to cast Identify on it. All right. Um, um, which so yeah. I will I'll learn its properties, how to use them, whether it takes attunement to use, and how many charges it has, if any. Oh, so, okay. okay. That actually, it's a very helpful thing. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you learn that it is uh, the Rod of Dogmatic Cleansing. Um, you learn that you just kind of, kind of point and shoot. This is this thing is so easy to cast with, um, and you know that it has a limited number of charges, but the number you're getting is higher than you can currently comprehend. Um, oh. Neat, easy. One day cool. it'll be a nerd. Not today. Cool. Uh, I take some cautious steps forward and I'll point it at the gorilla first and I shoot it. Okay. So with a flick of the wrist, like you know how to do. Um, and then for a moment, nothing happens. The gorilla and the Trask both turn and look at you. And then almost on delay and with the kickback of one of those huge guns that people hit themselves in the face with right. uh, white light fires in one large, fast and violent sphere and puts a hole clean through this gorilla. And it sort of lingers for a moment before breaking apart into small pieces and falling to the floor. Uh, can everyone give me a perception check? Yes. I can, but it's still negative one, so uh, that's, that's a, a ten. <laughs> ten, nine, Mike. Seven. We're all pretty stunned. <laughs> wow. We're fucking terrible. We're the worst. We don't just see Shbang my mystery weapon. <laughs> of course we didn't see There's anything. There's a lot of light in our eyes. <laughs> uh, the Tarask, the zombie mini Tarask thing stops in its tracks and looks at this one man that just vaporized a goddamn zombie wear gorilla. Uh, let's go ahead and roll initiative, shall we? Wait, but can I not just shoot it too? Does it have to recharge? You can on your turn in initiative. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's an okay. action. Uh, I got a 16. I got a 6. That would be a net one. Yes. Okay. Uh, so our order is going to be uh, Mike with the 16, Matt with the 6, the Tarask with somehow a 3. And... Well, mine's a 3, too, with the plus, but it just happens to also be a net one. So. Okay, well, in that case, we tied. <laughs> and as a rule, I will say ties go to the player, because that's how I've always played it, and I'm not going to change it now. Let's go. I'm wiping that thing clean. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, you said I'm going first. I sure did. Uh, all right. Tywin panicking, like, <laughs> uh, raises a hand and casts firebolts. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, remind me, how, how does damage work on firebolt? It's a, not uh, a saving throw. It's a spell hit modifier, right? Yes, make a ranged spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 fire damage. A flammable object hit by the spell ignites if it isn't being worn or carried. The spell's damage is... Uh, yada, yada. Uh, okay. Increases by... It's just the rate at which the spell's damage increases, which at this point, I have 3d10 on it. Ooh, right, go ahead and make nice. your roll, and I'll tell you if you hit. Yeah, we do have to hit first. 
Uh, but I get a plus six, which apparently, which is nice. nice. Ooh, yeah, 21 to hit. Okay, was that a nat 20 or just a 21? Oh, God. Uh, 21. Okay, yeah, you hit. Roll damage. Um, I keep track of this thing's health. I don't have to keep track of the gorilla's health because you. I was so afraid you were going to go into this fight without using that rod and just fucking wipe. Yeah, um, just total party kill. The moment it wasn't an illusion, I was like, what is Jess playing with? <laughs> what are we doing? This? That's 23. No, 22 damage. All right. And yeah, you hit this trask with 22 damage. Do you want to tell me what this looks like? Uh, as I said, panicked. <laughs> Tywin goes, oh shit, and lobs a fireball. All right. And uh, it yeah. hits square on the face of this Tarask. Uh, you're not sure if you did that much damage as much as you just made it kind of angry. Like, you know how much damage your spells do. This thing doesn't look like it's too bothered. Hmm. Bad. Bad news, gang. Everything about this. I love the imagery that I walk in there and I vaporize one of these things. <laughs> and then a fireball comes shooting out. Hits him and then it goes, bad news, gang. Everything <laughs> about this. All right. That. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Uh... In now in active combat and a little bit stunned by the strength of the weapon that he just kind of handed to someone that is not him, uh, and <laughs> then just kind of like looks around for a second, not entirely sure what to do, uh, and then steps forward with like a very you know dramatic persona, continuing the sort of ah yes I'm a very powerful cleric vibe. He goes ah a foul undead beast, taste the holy wrath of my magic. And I'm going to like do a huge, really over dramatic arm flourish, uh, and I'm going to cast Ray of Frost, which is a cantrip. Okay. Uh, uh, Ray definitely... of Frost is also Thrust. not a saving throw, correct? It's a uh, spell it hit? is a spell attack. Yes. Okay. Uh, and the <laughs> hit is going to be. <laughs> uh, I step forward. I make a very dramatic flourish. I cast one spell uh, that. Does definitely miss with an 11. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming an 11 does, in fact, miss. Yeah, uh, you miss. You hit the wall. Uh, some of that undead moss I mentioned earlier shrivels and dies. <laughs> nice. I hold my hand out for just a second, and then I turn to everyone else and goes, that moss was going to kill us if we left it there. <laughs> Perfect. It was, All right. it was like the grass, but qu quite more <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> and now it's okay. gone. A round of D&D fighting six seconds, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm just going to shoot the fucking thing. But I just love the idea that in these six seconds, these two did random bullshit as it took the time it took me to transfer hands and shoot the thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you fire again. Uh, go ahead and give me a roll. I'm not going to tell you what you're rolling. Have you sent me your character sheet? My character sheet? No. Yeah. Can you oh, send me your character either. sheet? Do you want me to send you I will, mine? yes. I probably should have done Anyone that. Anyone who might potentially use this item, I need to know your character sheet. Okay. Um, um, give me a second to remember how that works, yeah. and then I will and, do And uh, DM it to me if you can. Yes, Just because it's easier for me to see that. Click to download. Oh, do I have to download or can I send you this link? No, you, you just can, send me the link. Yeah, you can just send okay. it. If you're doing it in D&D in &D Beyond, it's each one has its own link. Fun fact about that, while mm -hmm. people are sending their um their mm -hmm. things, this was like a while ago. Uh, someone was just going around and putting random numbers into the D&D &D Beyond link because you can find random characters if you just type in yeah, a string of numbers. Someone found Glib. Someone actually just typed in random... Like, someone in our community was just typing in random things on D&D &D Beyond and found... Panda Red's actual glib character sheet. Insane. Yeah. Insane. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a d20 roll. That uh, rod. Okay. Roll. One second. That was a nine. Okay. Uh, thankfully, your stats at level 16 are fucking insane. Uh, and so that does, in fact, hit. And uh, same as before, 
you just sort of violently exude an orb from this, the, the tip of this this legendary weapon. Uh, huge recoil again, and you've obliterated this Tarrasque. Um, every time you say huge recoil, I'm picturing the little dude in Pirates of the Caribbean, and I'm just flying <laughs> backward. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like if if this thing's knocking you off your feet, that's that's hilarious, and I will not I will not give penalty to get back up. <laughs> All right, so you seem to have Please cleared vanquished, out. Vanquished, friends. See, this is why you hire me. You're, this, you're welcome. And this is why you hire me to provide you with the powerful magical artifacts that you need. You're welcome for the lending okay. of the powerful artifact that you use to slay these monsters, which of course you got from me. Well, most of it was my own, you well, know, skills and magic weapon, that I know. No, most of it was me. You wouldn't know. You've never used the weapon. Um, <laughs> what next? Hey, wait. Where did the weapon go? I, you, I have, I have it. I, I, <laughs> the my new part is not even they, like not holding it. They hired, <laughs> it's they hired me hand. to cleanse the. The, I might they hired, they hired me to make sure you don't die and this seems like the best when, way to do that when we so, get to the did list, I misunderstand did I misunderstand what happened to the rod it broke right no no no, 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 no. I just no, used it yeah, yeah. It's oh, in my okay. head. Um, I thought it broke also you can chat I'm not doing a zombie glib <laughs> zombie what <laughs> so I'm not doing zombie glib Everyone, <laughs> so many people recommended Zombie Glib oh, or an army good. of Zombie Glib yeah. after you said Glib. I'm not doing is, Zombie Glib. Is Zombie Glib not just Glib? It is. It's a good point. He is undead. You cannot make him more undead. Mm-hmm. Undeadlier. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, you can have the thingy back when you're delivered alive and well. Um, well, let's. Where is he? Let's get going. I your <laughs> services are appreciated. I suppose. You you in front, you have the, the the stick, the rod, rod. You go in front. This time I do just go in front. Now I'm feeling it. Confidence. Okay. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, it's kind of like a pretty simple crypt room. There's not a coffin in here. This is not the depths of this crypt. Mm-hmm. Uh, there appears oh, to be a Wait, wasn't door. there a chest? There was a chest, oh, yes. Yeah. Can I go look at the chest? You may. Okay. I All think right. that's a bad idea. Tywin's <laughs> gonna say, I think that's a terrible idea. I'm not stopping him. I I, I want to open the chest. I, All right. So are you just walking up and opening no, the chest? No medicating the guy. Well, hold on. Let me see if there's a way I could realistically <laughs> tell if this was a terrible decision in character. I, I'll look around the room as well. Can I do like a perception check to oh. scan this room as we enter? Can I do yeah. an arcana on the chest to see if it might just be murder again? Especially Before. after the whole thing with the grass. Uh, I did yeah. also get a dirty arc- 20 on, on room scanning. Okay, I'll do room scanning, but first we'll do Arcana check. Just that cause... was a 16 on the yeah. Arcana. Um, I mean, other than some undead, like, mold and moss, which seems to be everywhere here, uh, the chest seems fine. All right, what I'm going to do, how big is it? Uh, it's like a... Mm, mm. Mm, okay, yeah, it's probably too big to just kind of yeah. carry around. For the audio listeners, that's the size of a trunk. That's a little too big to just carry around. I don't know if I could take this with me. I mean, um, we'll come back for it. I wasn't going to take it, but I don't want to open it. Open it? I'm not going to open it anymore. If it has the moss and the the grass that were hurting me, no. I mean, uh, there's places where you can touch it that are not covered in the moss and the grass. It's just oh, okay. sort of I thought it was just covered. Everywhere in the has a little moss and grass on it. Here. All right, then. Despite me as the player thinking it's dumb, the character is dumb, so he's going to open the goddamn chest. So you open the chest, and inside you see several potions. Uh, You are somebody who has existed in this world for more than a few minutes. You know health potions when you see them. Oh, good. File health potions. Give yourself four potions of greater healing. Okay. Lit. Oh, but I'm going to... I immediately give one to the cleric. Ah, Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're being quite responsible. And our god will acknowledge you for it. 
All right. I mean, uh, now, probably okay. cursed juice. It's a chest right at the door. I was gonna give Why you would... one if you wanted it, but if you think it's cursed, then I then I'll keep them. I I am very much at the cap that this is a bad idea, and frankly, I wouldn't take a potion from you. I wouldn't break bread with you. I don't think we're friends. Ty You've been quite mean. Tywin, I saved Roger, your life. Tywin, your name. You're very pessimistic, <laughs> Tywin. Try to enjoy the journey. Try to enjoy the journey. The trash tried to eat me. <laughs> That's why you don't touch things you're not supposed to touch. <laughs> After touching I, if I talk to you anymore, I'm going to turn into a child <laughs> with what I do. So just <laughs> go. Let's go. Amazing. All right. What so was, Matt, you what scanned was the, the okay. specific type of potion that I got? Sorry. I forgot that. Uh, I greater that. healing. All right. Thank you. Sorry. Um, Matt, you scanned the room. The room, there doesn't appear to be anything else here other than yet another door. Uh, this door is at the back of the um, crypt. And you know from being outside this crypt and because you rolled a 20, that this means it's taking you into the mountain. Uh, now I should, uh, actually, okay. Uh, I did lose my divine sense because I cast protection from evil and good. I'm going to switch that back. So I'm going to use another divine sense that removes protection. But now I sense on dead within 60 feet. Uh, and uh, that lasts. Actually, it doesn't. S oh, and, oh, that's only until the end of my next turn. I might actually save that. Never mind. I thought that was longer. Uh, uh -huh. I'm going to yeah, uh, approach the door, but then stop and just kind of wait expectantly for, uh, for my guard my guards, I suppose, uh, to go go in front and deal with it. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll handle it. Yeah, he'll handle right. it. So you just go up and open the door? Yeah. Once right. again, slowly, we'll see if I have to close it. <laughs> nothing happens to you. You open the door, and it is fine. You, you enter a room. Nothing happens to you. <laughs> I know, it, it's great, right? Nice, nice and reassuring. Um... You enter a room. This room does have a casket in it, but the, the casket is off to the side, not like strewn off to the side or forgotten, like respectfully placed off to the side the way you would place a TV that you haven't quite made space for yet. Um, and there is on the far side of the wall, there is a giant statue of a knight's helmet. Uh, this looks to be some kind of intricate gate. The visor part that goes up and down on the knight's helmet is down and the bottom of it is flush with the ground. Uh, the top of the helmet has a series of 20 ornate jewels inside or uh, inlaid to it. Um, and there is a, uh, you know, a, a plaque in front of the, this large statuesque gate. Uh, I mean, I'm going to go up immediately and see what that plaque says. All right. I'm gonna flank him because that's what I have to do. I stride in confidently. <laughs> the plaque says a thing that I have written down so I don't get it wrong because this is a clue. Uh, it's a little poem. It says, You seek me in death's embrace with spells of varied hue and space. Not for one, but many, a magical trace shall I reveal my armored face. Oh, Can you say that one like more I time? Yeah, I feel like I need to take better note of it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it says, you seek me here in death's embrace with spells of varied hue and space. Not for one, but many, a magical trace shall I reveal my armored face. I'm going to paste this in into Discord so you can all see it, and I'll paste it into chat so chat can see it as well. Hue and space. Uh, is it in the... Yeah, uh, in the minor interactions chat, yeah. In our professional yeah. cast okay. server. Seeking you into the embrace, the spells are very hue in space. Not for one, but many a magical trace shall I reveal my armored face. And here you go, chat. Oh. Um, and you said this is like an, an ornate, intricate gate. That it, it, is it like a mechanism or something magical? Can I... Tell uh, that. You can try to tell that. How how uh, would you like to inspect that? I guess. Well, let me let me look at my skills mm. here. Um, 
I guess like investigation. I just want to see like the nature of it. So investigation maybe. Somebody in chat just said I thought the glitch was my phone dying. Is there a glitch happening here? Um I'm not seeing one on I don't have the actual Twitch pulled up so I don't see chat. My streaming system seems good. My camera keeps changing color a little bit, but that's a bug on my end that I just didn't fix first. But I don't think looks, that's what they're talking about. Looks fine on my end too. I've got it open. Yeah, no glitch here, no glitch here. Okay. Seeing anything. Just okay. checking. So you wanted to inspect the, the gate somehow. Yes. I just, I mostly want to see if it's magic or if it's a mechanism. So I guess investigation would probably cover both bases. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Investigation should be good. Go ahead and roll investigation for me. Well, uh, a six. Uh, you got no clue. Sorry. You're basic. Um, can I do an investigation as well? Yeah. 17. 17. Uh, are you investigating the whole room or specifically the gate mechanism? The way to open it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the gate, the whole thing, it, it seems, it's it's magic. It, this seems to be a magical barrier of some sort. Okay. I think we need to blast the sucker with magic of various qualities. My general vibe I'm getting from the from the instructions. That seems like, like a I got logical solution. Pro probably. Sure. Uh, okay, I say we go with like an elemental triage first. I have fire, as we've established. Anyone got oh, I'm, ice? I'm good at that. I've got, I've got ice. I've got lightning. I've got some I've earth got, stuff. I've got gust. <laughs> you want just air? I have. Uh, I have shape water. I guess ice would be water aligned. We can we can just try to hit it with the full the full last airbender here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fire, um, ice, and wind. I'll I'll hit it with. Um... I got poison too. Wait, hold on. I have to keep track of something here. If we're gonna start casting spells, I need you all to God. say them one at a time. Okay. Um, I've got two, which I know it's weird that I'm gonna do two at once, but I I have a reason for it. So, what okay. I'm gonna do. I'm going to use magic stone, which is a cantrip. This is a weird one. I touch one to three pebbles. I'm assuming there's like a, you know, chunk of something on the ground I can use. Or oh, go I up love this one. This uh, is where you can make your pebbles like weapons, yeah, right? Yeah, and it's basically, it's, it turns the, the gambit, pebble like. into a thing. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. And then my spell will be, I'm going to cast Ray of Frost with one hand and then chunk a magic rock at it with the other to hopefully cover water and earth okay Ooh. so as you cast magical pebble before even throwing the pebbles one of the gems on the base thing lights up ah, uh, ah, and then as you ah, cast ah. ray of frost a second one lights up look at that i'm already <laughs> clearing this you said there were these. how many gems like 20 right Four. 20 20 this is gonna okay be well uh tywin's gonna cast firebolt <laughs> All right, one lights up. Um, all right, Some I'll cast. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna. No, wait, no, no, no. Good. This way, I'm gonna just gonna do one of these, and then I want to cast a few spells at this thing. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. Um, okay. and I cast. First of all, I'm gonna cast gust, which is just blasting it with air. Okay. Uh, does that one get more lights up? up. Yep. Beautiful. Um, then I'll hit it with some poison spray. Another one lights up. Beautiful. I'm not going to have to roll for damage and stuff, I assume. Um, what are, you already did fire. Crap, is that all I have? That's crazy. I, I mean, guess I'm going to hit with Eldritch Blast. Is that something new? I have Another a theory one lights I want to test. I have a theory I want to test. Go for it. Uh, right, if, I ca if I cast Mold Earth, will a different gem light up? Uh, mold Earth has not been... I did Pebbles, yes. so... Okay. Yeah, you did a oh, pebble. So it's not types. It's just magic. No. Is it just 20 no, magics? I, so listen, 20 doesn't quite line up. I am proud. I'm fucking biased. I go straight to Pokemon types. And rock and earth are differentiated in that. Which is why I ask if Mold Earth. 
lights There's up a different gem. No we have six way. so far. What the fuck is that? <laughs> um, uh, no, thaumaturgy. No, I make a uh, fucking... No, no shot. <laughs> I Are you guessing thaumaturgy? Yeah, thaumaturgy. <laughs> All right, you guess thaumaturgy and another one lights up. Um, okay. <laughs> at this point, I'm going to join in the party here. Uh, Imagine just reaches into his robes and pulls out like a ridiculously large like comically large scroll which he then unfurls and just starts going down a list of just spell 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 so as this is happening um i'm gonna cast control flames create bonfire dancing lights frostbite light mage hand magic stone message minor illusion mold earth prestidigitation ray of frost shape water shocking grasp spare the dying and thaumaturgy okay you cast magic stone in there I think I understand what's happened now, yeah. and I'm a little upset. But all right, keep going. You cast a magic stone in there, which I believe you've already cast. There, there were two in there that I think have already been cast. Yeah. No, so three. each time, there were three that have already been cast. Okay. Four. Magic stone was the most. Yeah. So Sorry. each time you've gotten to a. Uh, that, was, that was so many so fast. Jesus I know. Christ. I did it for the bit. Do you want me to go through uh, more practically? Yeah. Can you go through it? Yes. Faster so the again. One, the ones that have not been cast that I just did in that control flames. Right. I, I need all of them in order that you did them. The, yeah, these these are Even in the order, one... but I'm go- these were in order, but I was going to skip the ones we already did. Does that work? No, I need the ones you already did too. Okay, control uh, flames, create okay. bonfire, another gem, another gem, dancing lights, frostbite. another gem. Light. An- you that, that it was frostbite one that you've already cast. Ray of, Ray of frost. It was the one okay. I already cast. So we'll get there. Mage hand, another gem. Light, uh, another gem. Mage hand, another gem. Magic stone, which I already did. Everything turns off. Uh, so wait a second I'm now realizing too the way we described this we're all basically firing everything with just flurries and no coordination right yeah okay so I given that it was my spell that turned it off I'm assuming I noticed that first (laughs) just everyone stop Which, which one of you messed it up what? You did. Yeah, you cast like 20 at the same time. I'm pretty sure well, it was you, Theobard. It, it, it was the different spells with the... the okay, well, were they all different spells? That looks I, like I all I'm the spells sorry. you know. Did, I, 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 me. did you, you study cleric, for seven cleric years? man, can you just hit it with whatever spell you just hit it with, please? The, the, same, the same, same one. one? Same one. I chunk another pebble at it. Turn light lights on. Now, see, it wasn't my fault. Okay, we'll do it again. Pebble, <laughs> pebble time. Pebble, pebble, pebble. I don't see what the use of doing it again pebble. is. But if you insist pebble. just to prove oh, boy, it actually, wrong, before, I will as he's talking, to... as he's talking, I cast because uh, I also have this. I cast magic stone and I throw a pebble at it. And then the light turns off. Now, Side what, note: look what Why do you both have here? magic was, stone? It's goddamn was, useless. I was getting somewhere with this, and yet. <laughs> And well, no, no interference. Got... We can't do pebble twice. We can't do a spell twice. Well, that's ridiculous. Clearly. Well, 13, 14, well, we, well, what about this? this isn't ridiculous. Uh, okay. While you guys are arguing, you just kind of hear a <clears throat> behind you. What the fuck? I guess it's more off to the side. Watch your language, Bishop. Bishop doesn't like it. <laughs> Hi, um, by the way. <laughs> The uh, you, if you look over to are, are you looking in the direction of the hem yes, or are you yes. just I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not expecting that at all. I was just like ah. Uh, you see a the, the 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 casket that was off to the side uh, has been the the lid is off and there's a woman uh, who appears to be a little bit undead. She's kind of sitting up there, she's stretching like she got up from a long nap, and she's like, "Are you done?" No, the we second, got 19 to go. The second I see an undead, I immediately duck behind Theobar and go, Shoot her! Shoot! Zombie! Shoot her with the thing! Uh, hey, no, no, don't, 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 don't shoot me with what thing exactly? The, the, the powerful artifact that I know about. I do know the name, but I forgot it in real life. What is it called? Uh, it is the Rod of Dogmatic Cleansing. The rod of dynamic flame in real life, and decided to forget okay. it in the game. <laughs> what a pair! <laughs> Did you say that in game uh, or like? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. no yeah. Uh, Omnigenous fully shouts the thing. Like, 
yeah so so when when kyle says the name of the the rod um she sort of stops and she goes oh you have my rod no actually it's this guy so it's just white yeah. your your <laughs> rod why why would you claim such a flagrant lie in the presence of a member of the holy order uh, well, I, aberration i mean i'm I'm dead, so it's probably not mine anymore because possession after death is a whole complicated thing, but I made it. You, oh, well, made, thank you. It's very don't, helpful. No, don't thank her. She's probably lying. Theobard, did you steal this from her? A no, dead person? No, I took it from the cleric. Are you just not paying attention at all? I mean, <laughs> Bishop, did you steal this? Listen, I, I may have checked out when people were so mean to me. Bishop! <laughs> There's, Did look, you steal from this dead person? There's like a brief, like, his eyes kind of go wide for a second, exasperated. And he just goes, without really thinking about it, he goes, I can honestly say, no, I did not. <laughs> look, I, again, I've been dead for hundreds of years. I really don't care about that trinket. I made like four of them anyway. That's what? nice. Hey, where are the other ones? How do you open the gate? Oh, well, I can't do it anymore. Um, it's not complicated. Is it, it just, just... is it just a lot of magic? Yeah. Okay, and then can I cast a shit ton of spells? She says, yeah. Uh, yeah, do you know how many spells do you want to cast? Let's go. I want to cast 16 spells. Okay, you're casting 16 different spells. Yes. How Jesus, okay. Uh, who needs spell slots? Yeah. Oh, no, these wanna... are all fan trips. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, you cast sixteen cantrips. Can you say which cantrips you cast? Just so uh, add, it might actually be fifty because one of these I have to touch something. But I was going to do that at the end. But we'll see. Okay. Um, so I want to create bonfire, um, dancing lights. You tell me if that one counts. Yep. Uh, Eldritch blast is one. Gust yep. again. Oh, I can't use. Oh, I can. Yeah, gust again. Mage hand. Um, oh, skip magic stone. So we're down to 15. I have mending, okay. which I could cast. Okay. Uh, minor illusion, poison spray, test digitation, sacred flame, shocking grasp, spare the dying. Does that count? The yeah. healing spell. Okay. True strike and vicious mockery. And then chill touch if I could touch it. And that's 15. Okay. So you've, you've lit 15 of the 20 gems on this on this thing to which this this uh corpse that is just hanging out with you is kind of like nice i um i have to cast uh raise dead for me to be here and uh if i cast something else i lose concentration and i die again so i couldn't get this open and i you know would like to go inside so uh, five more Wait. Do either of you no now Wait, hold hold on. T- time out. Yeah, how do you cast the spell if you're dead? Wait, no. Well, no. they raise the dead. That that, the they explain that in the question. I exactly. want to know why she has to go in there. I still, I still think we should shoot her. I. She's not this, doing anything. This is literally my grave. My husband. They they built this for my husband. I made this fancy lock to keep people out, and so I could go in and visit him. And um. No one else seems to be able to cast 20 spells within uh, a period of 15 minutes to get me in. And also, no. my instructions were cryptic, and no one could figure it out after I died, and it took me a second to figure out well, how to cast a spell got, while dead. We got the instructions pretty fast, but I will say 20 is a large number. Yeah, um, the idea was that if anyone if man, got in, if they would If a wouldn't... person of my class cannot get this done in one go, that's pretty, uh, pretty bad. Speaking of I'm so- 20 point. spells, important question. When Theobard was just firing off spells left and right, how much of an effort was being made to keep track of what has already been used? Because I was uh, paying attention question. in character, but also in like I don't think Theobard was calling out his spells like anime attacks. Like what's I was not <laughs> it was very much just is that a lot of magic? Yes. Yeah. I think in character, you probably don't know which spells were used unless they're ones that you recognize. If you really want to give me an arcana roll to know Kyle's entire list of cantrips that he... I, I, 
Well, I mean, we're gonna have to, or this is gonna take all day. So I'll do it. On I'm Comitech. happy. I'm so happy this puzzle came uh, up because I could not believe the amount of cantrips D and D Beyond let me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I was just like, all right, we'll just keep adding them until and I can stop. I did get a two on the Arcana roll. Okay. <laughs> Mike, you seem like you were wanting to ask a question. Well, I just because uh, the last time I made a paladin was for sticks, and I kind of went my through my creation for this a little quickly. Does it just like not limit? Because you can't have cantrips as a paladin; it just doesn't limit how many you take. Because I feel like I remember running into that the first time, where I was like, "I don't see a limit here." No, I but had a just... limit. It was sixteen. <laughs> the limit's sixteen. Oh yeah, I guess you're level sixteen. That makes sense. Oh fuck. Uh. What? That makes enough sense. <laughs> Everyone stop talking about it. Let's move on. Okay. Yeah. Also, you can just say which spells you did if <laughs> yeah. you want to <laughs> have a party. Um, can I actually try? Oh, yeah, I'll really tell you out of character in time. Just go can for I, it, Matt. Can I try to um, get the rod from Theobard? Can I try to? You will not succeed. <laughs> can I try to? Well, like, art. I assume, and again, just can correct me if I'm wrong here. That like if you're firing off a bunch of spells, a lot of those spells probably have somatic components. <laughs> is the rod like in a pocket or anything? Like I assume you have to put it down if you're casting a bunch of other spells. Hold on. And Are you trying to pickpocket? Yeah. Hold on a second, because I'm checking the components to see if I would have to take my hand off this thing. <laughs> um Oh wow, some of these are weird. If they I've have... never actually worried about components in my entire life. Well, most people don't care about material components, especially not for a one shot. But if it has a little S next to it, that means you got to do hand gestures. Oh, is that what the S means? I thought it would be yep. sight. V v okay. Is, well, then there are lots of S's, so S I guess it's it in a goddamn pocket. I'm gonna try to um, take that from it. I All will right. try to that. That does not happen. How do I do that? <laughs> I believe the opposed role for pickpocketing is perception. Yeah, it would probably um, can it not be, it not be hand reverse hand sleight of hand? Could it not I, be, or maybe not? I will accept else? reverse sleight of hand if you have I, anything inside I, of hand. Because if you I know do. how to pickpocket, you know what it feels like, right? Okay. Um, well, I got so, a fourteen, so it's not okay. good anyway. A fourteen. All right. Um, <laughs> I got an 18. Well, right, yeah. so <laughs> this entire thing of um, spells is just just going nuts. And meanwhile, our bishop friend is pickpocketing. My tiny little hand just kind of uh, grabs that. And then as uh, as Theobard like finishes up this this flurry of spells, I uh, brandish the rod, not firing it yet, but I very dramatically uh, flourish it at this undead that I'm still very scared of. You go, ah! Now, reveal your true secrets to us, lest I fire my weapon upon thee. Uh, she kind what of... You... What are you doing? I'm a cleric. I can take things. Don't worry about it. And she looks at you for a moment and she goes, I... I just told you. This is my husband's crypt. Unlikely I like this story. There's there's a whole note on my cask that some well-meaning people and she kind of picks up this piece of paper that's decayed after hundreds of years and she's like, "Well, um, okay. Do any of you know Zone of Truth?" No, <laughs> no. I, I fully knew that I didn't know. And going into this, I, that would have been a great spell that I knew I did not have. I also purposefully left Zone of Truth off. <laughs> Same here. Um, Incredible. I know. She sort of. I know. Command. Can com Can I command and say like, honesty? I don't know if that works. That, that's a no, DMI. Uh, she's a willing target, so she will let you command her if you are asked, commanding her to tell the truth. Yeah. Again, I out of character. I fully believe her, but in character. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna cast. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I'm gonna cast command. Uh, when actually. <laughs> Jess, can I have the party members roll perception for this? For a, a lore thing? Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what is... That's a six. <laughs> That's a 19. Let's see what you're hiding. <laughs> yeah, 
um, I want to know too. Yeah. So, uh, you, <laughs> you Tywin, uh, notice that when I, like, as I start speaking this command spell, uh, I'm doing it like purposefully kind of facing away from you, but you see this anyway. Um, on the Genesis eyes glow red as he's doing this and it's like very clearly demonic like symbols appearing around his eyes as he casts this spell also Nikhil you did not cast command correct uh, I did not okay so another gem lights up if you're at 17 now uh, so you command her oh, and yeah. she says and you're commanding her truth uh, yeah tr- it's, it's one word command so truth honesty you know whatever she goes, okay, I am Lady Wickles. My my husband is buried in there. I am oh, uh, just oh, trying God. quite desperately. I, I, I checked on him every day when I was alive, and then I died and couldn't get in, and I have been separated from my husband for hundreds of years. Um, and I would, I would very much like to get in. I also am very concerned about the amount of undead moss and mold it's been a second since I've been awake, but I don't think this was here last time. Do you know what year it is? No. Probably know what year it is. 2024. Uh, <laughs> it is the 50th year of the rule of King Lavernius Cortal. I say that. <laughs> yep. Nice improv. If I Hopefully everyone will remember that, because I'm not gonna. Lavernius something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's yeah, like, with, ah, that means nothing to me. Okay. With the uh, with that being a satisfactory enough uh, answer, <laughs> Omnigenus is uh, seems frustrated that that he was wrong, but begrudgingly accepts this. <laughs> he says, ah, well, bet, better safe than sorry when dealing with you treacherous undead. That kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. Uh, and, you know, I'm saddened to hear that uh, you're so bigoted against the undead. I'm sorry, you, can you stop your truth command? I really don't want to be telling you everything I'm thinking about you um, because I'm afraid I'm going to mention that you're short. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you see just a very slight twitch of the hand that holds the death rod. <laughs> before this just does drop the the truth command yay all right okay. thank you um four more spells i i know it's a pain the whole point of this was to use up spell slots so no one did nefarious uh, things down there which apparently didn't work um I four more spells between us uh theobard and i do have Four, or I at least have four spells that Theobard does not. Um, we can go through the list if you want, but I'm pretty sure there's enough overlap. Uh, hey, the, the, Theobard having 20 goddamn cantrips, I am sure, or 16, however many you have. I, I'm yeah. sure it's fine. Yeah, I, I've got yeah. more individual spells. So yeah, uh, I cast four more spells. No, three more spells. Because okay. uh, uh, I did 17, yeah. Yeah, There's definitely three uh, that don't overlap in there. So uh, I turn and very overdramatically cast three more very weak and underwhelming spells. And with that, all of the gems on this uh, ornate knight's helmet piece thing uh, light up and it just, the, 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 the visor lifts and there is a pathway deeper into the crypt to which uh, Lady, Lady Wickles sort of stands up, dusts herself off in her decaying yet once nice clothing and begins to walk and she goes, so... What brings you to my and my husband's crypt on this, uh, I don't know if it's a fine day or not, I haven't been outside in a thousand years, on this fine day, why not? Sure. Well, Lady Wickles, and firstly, it is an honor. I've heard much, many stories of your husband's exploits. It's great to be in your presence, and in fact, we would love to rid this holy tomb of a lich that has taken up residence within it. I'm sure you're at least somewhat Aware of it, considering your... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to let it go. Maybe I'm lost in a couple steps behind. How do you cast a spell whilst dead? The same way you do while you're alive. What what do you mean? I mean you were dead 
unable yes. to do magics. So how did you cast Raise the Dead upon yourself? Hard on my sidekick. He, it takes him a bit to catch up at times. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Wait, you, you've heard tales of my husband, but you haven't heard tales of me? Lady uh, Katarina Wickles, the greatest wizard who's ever lived? Can I roll to see if I have? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Lady Katarina. Lady That's Katarina. a nap one. <laughs> Village is sexist as fuck. No <laughs> stories about Lady Katarina. <laughs> Wickles, Lady Wickles. Her first name is Katarina. Lady... There's a different Lady Katarina associated with me. I can't yes, have that. Did you, I, did you do that on purpose, or was that a? <laughs> that was a. I forgot to give her a first name, which have Lady Wickles written down. And boy, howdy, Katarina comes after the word lady in my brain. I've done the um... same thing. I've named characters different stuff. We're saying the same thing in different campaigns. Yep. That, that just Lady Wickles stories. <laughs> You've never. I, he wouldn't have slayed the dragon without without me powering him up and casting either of you. Um, Listen, I'm, clearly I'm there was no. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna roll. Some, yeah, bad faith storytellers who must have omitted your contributions, <sighs> which I don't doubt remotely. So hard for female spellcasters to break through that glass ceiling. It really is. I um, okay, whatever. That's fine. I invented most of the magic that you guys are using here today, and I don't even get credit. That's whatever. And she kind of starts to um, stomp off. If it then... makes you feel better, I didn't know who your husband was either. That helps, <laughs> actually. Uh, by the way, there is an amulet in here um, that I may have crafted in my grief that makes undead things invincible and i imagine if there is a lich hanging out here he is probably looking for that i used it when i brought my husband back to life every couple of weeks for date night um he had to be invincible for date night well you go out on the town with an undead thing and people show up with torches it your husband gets burned at the stake once during his afterlife and you don't want to repeat them it it's a whole thing we may we may you have my rod yes one of them I hold it up very triumphantly. Excellent. Uh, that should kill just about any undead we run across, and if it happens to not kill this lich, then the lich is invincible. Um, d don't worry, there is a failsafe. I'm not an idiot. Uh, at the, the very deepest part of this crypt, uh, there, there's a statue of my husband, and if you take the the helmet off, the, uh, the, the, the amulet will cease functioning. Um, so all we have to do is get past a potentially invincible lich. Uh, I can cast no spells to help you, and then, you know, after that's done, you can just kill a lich. You, you seem strong enough here, here after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are mm -hmm. a strong group. I was hired for a reason. And I was hired to keep him alive. And so far, that has gone well. <laughs> I'm still not I sure why he's here. have so much faith in you all. <laughs> I, I think... That might be a good place to pause if since we wanted we yes. usually do a break. Um oh, yeah. what is this going is going it, it is currently oh. uh been almost two hours. Okay. Coolio. Cool. How long is this gonna like do we have like is it a four hour one, a three hour uh, one? Like a... So depending on how smart you guys are, it could be over in half an hour or an hour and a half. I have Finish. this kind of done segmented so I can cut out content. If we need to to wrap it up, cool. uh, how late is everybody willing to go? I can go as late as needed. Uh, yeah, I don't have yep. anything tomorrow. I got no plans. Cool, cool. Yeah, and this uh, is a one shot, so we can do mm -hmm. whatever length we feel like. It's not like it's a you know regular campaign thing that has conventions. All right, I, I tried to schedule this out to be as about the same length as our our normal episodes. Cool. Uh, it the the spell puzzle took a little longer than. Uh, we I anticipated it out so fast <laughs> That's as okay. people, but all of our characters are dumbasses, and we roleplay <laughs> yeah. that too well to the detriment it was of the pacing. perfect. It was perfect, <laughs> though. Um, I love how we yeah, immediately so, went to Avatar I and loved... then Pokemon types, and there anyway. were two. Both two of us did huge barrages. Like we couldn't even get it done with Matt's first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Everything about that was amazing, though. But I need to pee so badly. Yes. Um, uh, so... I'm going to throw us back to our starting soon screen. 
Um, okay. I'm actually going to say, I, I, it, it just, just real quick. Am I clear to look at, at chat for like the last couple of minutes? Cause what I want to, what I want to say is during the break, people in chat, if you can like tell me how the audio balancing is, if everything is synced, how my audio quality is specifically, cause I changed some things around. Hopefully it's maybe even a little bit better than it used to be. Just give me feedback on that while we're uh, in yeah. break. Everyone in chat, spam your favorite Pokemon for the next like 30 seconds. That's a good yeah, idea. Just uh, everyone spam your favorite up. Pokemon. And then I will look at tech stuff and then I'll stop looking again when we get back. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to throw us back to our starting soon screen. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay. Uh, all right. And we are back on cameras, I think. Now, no one say spoilers in things yet because I just got back. I'm going to take this time real quick to look at the Twitch from you guys' perspective. Make sure everything uh, was good. Uh, you might have heard a weird sound there for just a second. That was because Twitch auto opened up a different stream and it got, probably got caught by my audio capture. That was not a tech error. Anyway, let me see. If you see um, anybody in chat talking trash on Piplup, the greatest Pokemon starter of all time, or Porygon2, hey, the best Pokemon of all time, ban them. Hey, Jess, Piplup yeah. being the best starter of all time? Correct take. I, I knew I liked I, you. I love oh. Empoleon. Such a good oh. starter. Love Empoleon. Beautiful creature. Uh, all sound is good, somebody says. And then people are not talking about the sound, which I'm going to take as a win. Because I think if they don't have any complaints, that's <laughs> that's a victory. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. That's, that's all I needed. The cameras seem like they're good. Everything seems framed correctly. System is working. I'm closing chat again, and we can continue. All right. Okay. So... Uh, we pick up where we left off, um, and as, as you begin walking further down into this crypt, I would like a, another set of perception checks from everybody. Um, there are some things that are very obvious that you're all going to notice unless you get a nat one, because it's funny. But other than Nat that, 20, Jess! But Leo. it is it is with a negative one modifier. So, it is um, so okay. Jess, can you say that thing yeah. you just said again real quick? There are some things that you're all going to notice unless you get a nat one because it's funny. So not all of us noticed. <laughs> um, I, I have not. T I'm not going to move my camera because now it's set up in a PC thing. But I'm looking at a one. <laughs> well, got a nat one and a nat I'm death Mike, staring the undead lady. I am not letting uh, her out of my sight, and I'm not noticing anything else. I got a dirty twenty. So. Two of okay. us probably see thing. <laughs> so, Bishop, you see an undead lady that you don't trust, and you see nothing else. Uh, everyone else. I only have eyes for her because I'm going to shoot her if she double crosses us. <laughs> everyone else, as you get further into this crypt, uh, you begin to notice a minecart and some tracks. Uh, these do not look old. They look like they were installed fairly recently. There's also signs of work, as if people have been coming in and out of this mine shaft. Um, and uh, as you get down a little further, there uh, you, you notice that the walls have been broken, as if they've been dug into. And uh, oh. you see you see specks of uh, of gold, a little bit of little gold. Somebody is mining this crypt. Huh. It's a cat. Uh, <laughs> lady. This is the dimension cats be from. <laughs> I mean, honestly, not impossible. Lady Wickles, were you aware of a mining project in this crypt? I'm sorry, what now? The, sorry, what? The tunnel. Do you see the tunnel right in front of us? The tunnel right there. Oh, yeah. I did think the minecart was a little strange. That's not that's that's new, isn't it? There's some the What when you wake up after a thousand years, it's fine. Bishop, you did you not see the and the gold that didn't just completely over the head common happenstance? Uh, I turn around. I'm like, oh, well, I it didn't think it was worth stating the obvious that it was there. Clearly, there's a minecart. Uh huh. Hum. Uh, let, uh, can I do an arcana check on the golds? 
please? Yeah, you can do an Arcana check on the gold. No, that's a two on the die. And that sure looks like a... regular gold. Yeah. <laughs> sure looks like regular gold. <laughs> Anybody else want to inspect the gold? Um, no, I... or not. I, at this point, think it's probably a oh, good that's idea. That's also a two on the die. Uh, that sure looks like regular gold. <laughs> now, I could continue this cycle of making the worst possible decisions and failing on dice rolls, um, but I'm going to do something <laughs> actually practical at this point, I think. I am just going to cast a detect magic. So, concentration, oh, 10 minutes, uh, 30 feet magic. I'm sure there's a lot that's going off around, but anything new... Oh, yeah. There's a lot going off around. There's undead moss everywhere, undead mold everywhere. There's an undead, undead lady sitting everywhere. next to you. Uh, what's not magical is the gold or the mine cart or the mine tracks. That's good. I'll I'll communicate that. Well, clearly, in my expert opinion, no, nobody cares about this gold. It's not magic. It's not what we're here for. It's just simple pedestrian wealth. Not sure why it's in a crypt. <laughs> Oh, so someone started mining down here. Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, uh, from from Lady Wickle's point of view, she's because I think a lot of people care about gold. Aren't are, are most wars not still fought over this stuff? No, no, they totally are. So, oh, like, what bishop? Yeah. Someone was mining down here, and they were like, "Oh, gold, not what I was looking for," and moved on. Come on, that's a good point. The sidekick does make a a good argument there. Why would they stop and leave a gold mining operation? All right, you know what? I'm taking point on this puzzle because I don't appreciate the sidekick narrative being it's perpetuated. The puzzle still. does not make you not the sidekick. I just solved the last one. Right, well, you know we'll what? see how impressive go, it is. What go I do. ahead, go ahead, Paladin. Solve the mine shaft puzzle. I'll step I'm back. Go I'm going to. All right, I'm, I'm I, going to investigate. I lean and back awkward. against the minecart, and it starts to roll a little bit, and I like, catch myself and hold on. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> requires a more scientific approach, uh, and Tywin is going to grab the minecart by either side and just kind of tentatively push it back and forth. <laughs> it, it moves how you would expect a minecart to move. Okay. You're doing great, sidekick. Okay, well, we know that's normal. Uh, I, I actually would like to ask, are there any paths besides the mine shaft, or do all paths lead to mine shaft here? All paths, well, I mean, right now, the crypt is the mine shaft, right? The, this mine all part right. is going down the crypt, um, mm -hmm. and it, it is currently one one Wait, direction. The mine shaft is going down the crypt, and it's all yeah. in one direction. Are we on it's a, a little bit of an incline, possibly? We are. Ooh. You know, Why? if you, <laughs> I'm gonna cast a mold earth on oh, the area with the gold. I know this spell. <laughs> um, to you know, bring the rock down and maybe uncover more of the gold and see if it behaves in any peculiar way. All right. So you you mold earth. You you do sure free some gold from the wall. This is an area that has been like. It, it freshly started to be mined, right? Um, and so when you remove the gold, there's just a lot more gold back there. Like, this is this is a vein of gold that is quite impressive, actually. Goodness gracious, why did we build a crypt here? Uh, what it's where we fought a dragon. In that this don't make sense. Wait, it was. That don't make sense. Oh, it was oh, the dragon's yeah. fault. Hmm? Well, well, the dragons, dragons, famously, you know, not to generalize, but hold hoard gold. What? Just out of curiosity, what color was the dragon? Uh, bronze dragon. Okay, I'm I'm one sixteenth black dragon, so not a relative. I, I'm not even hey, related to this. Just... I'm going to go up. To, I'm going to look at the cleric and be like, "I'm one sixteenth uh, silver." <laughs> just go back to life. Bishop, can we sidebar? I'm not sure why. Let's <laughs> sidebar. Uh, will you sidebar with him? Can we go I'm, off? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, somewhat reluctantly, but yeah, sure. I, um. So that comment, 
And then, so when you were casting the spell earlier, there was kind of some stuff I saw with your face with glowing red, evil looking eyes and like devilish runes. And I gotta be honest, I wasn't the best student, but that didn't seem very godly. So what the fuck <laughs> are you? I'm I am a cleric hired to deal with this situation. A cleric of what? Of, just remind me the name of the god. I have it in notes somewhere. A cleric of the god from this setting. Uh, Claravelza, the god of wealth and or the god of, um, oh my god, what is it? Plenty, the god of. Yes, the god of wealth, a cleric of the god of wealth and plenty. I rattle off very quickly. Okay, well, that still doesn't explain the, the, the devilish runes. Because whenever you cast, like, little cantrips and stuff, that's, like, normal. But then you cast, like, a heavy-duty spell and you're tapping into something. So if you have, like, some kind of demonic contract situation going on, I feel like I have to know. Because we are quite literally going downhill fast with this whole thing. And I'd like not to die in a crypt in my hometown. It is literally my worst nightmare. Well, let, let's assume for a second, dear Tywin, sidekick, that even if I did have a demonic contract of some kind, perhaps it could be under some sort of, let's call it a demonic NDA. So, not sure what you're, what you're wanting me to say there. Well, in that hypothetical, what are the consequences of breaking the NDA? I don't think that's how NDAs work. That's not, you can't, you don't just say, you don't just say things that's in, why don't you, I pat you on the shoulder, which does involve me actively reaching up higher. All right, then. <laughs> why don't you just not worry about it for now? I have a cleric, no, I've been hired to take on this role, and it's going just fine let, so far. <laughs> let me put it in clearer terms. If the consequence is not you immediately evaporate and cease to exist, you should tell me what is going on. Can you all give me a perception check? Yeah. Just them or me too? You too. Uh, 14. 13. Mm -hmm. Ew. <laughs> Everybody who uh, did not roll a two, you hear what sounds like something pointy and sharp scraping against uh, brick and rock from the direction you just came. The direction we came? Uh, hmm. Can we sidebar from the sidebar for a moment? Just... Sure. We can, we can, we can get rid of the sidebar. Please, that is yes, very we'll, disconcerting. We'll, we'll go back yeah. to the main bar, and then we can deal with the sidebar later. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm gonna look over there and see if I can. If it's too dark, I don't know what the light situation is. I will cast yeah. the light cantrip if needed. So it is dark, but you see three points of light uh, in the shape of fire and a face, and hear a sound like a sickle scraping against rock coming towards you from the direction that you were just at. Um, we we should, should, yeah, I'm just going to kind of start, just sort of like back away down the tunnel further. Yeah, let's go into the breach. The breach is probably better chances than... Mm -hmm. Yep, let's go, gang! Uh, and Tywin like awkwardly points at uh, Lady Wickles and Theobard, like, do you hear that? Because there's hey, probably a lich yonder, so we got to go this way. As you say that, in your brains, the same way you heard it before, you hear that voice go, you were warned. Uh, Bishop, Bishop, if you'd like to give me back the weapon, please, so I can keep you alive. Uh, well, no, I, I think I'll just keep it on hand if it's to keep me 
alive and it, if it's I me. no offense cannot trust you to act in a way I, they will not I'm a cleric. Are, you, are you a cleric no you're a paladin I will interrupt really quick similar. to say you have about 30 seconds before I make oh, you all I'm, roll I'm initiative as the, I'm going hey. as this is discussion is happening I'm not just standing still having this but debate I'm next to him whatever he's doing because okay. this is bodyguard mode <laughs> I'm, I'm, running, I'm just, running yeah I've got the light How, cantrip uh, up so like like a glowing point of my finger illuminating like a flashlight as we sprint down this this tunnel can i ask before we break out into sprint uh how many people would the mine cart hold do you think four hey. 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 country tywin gets in the mine cart no wait this is perfect so he a uh, bishop bishop starts running i'm running next to him tywin comes on with the mine <laughs> Will, would, would Lady yep. Wickles follow it to the minecart? Oh, cart? she would have jumped into the minecart with you, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> can I, what is, can it be like acrobatics or something to jump into the minecart oh, as well? Oh, yes. Oh, God. Please. What's, what's oh. the role for that? Uh, acrobatics, uh, you said? Yeah, oh, acrobatics. Shit. Okay, That's um, an 11. Does that get me in this minecart? That's a 16. Cart? That's actually pretty good. Thank goodness. All right, so... um. Uh, the two of you both, and, and and Matthew, you can object to this being how it goes down. The fact that you said that basically already means that I'm okay with it. The the two of you attempt to jump into this minecart at the same time. However, one of you is wearing large, ornate, flowy robes that do definitely get in the other's way. Uh, it is hard to grip the side. It is hard to pull yourself in when these ornate and flowy robes are just in the way. And uh, you do not manage to vault yourself into the minecart as it slides well, past you. That makes sense. <laughs> Can Tywin try to grab him as we pass as a reaction? You want to grab him as a reaction? Uh, yeah, God, what, what do we... What would we do for that? Uh, can you make a grapple attack against your friend with disadvantage? Sure. No, we're not going to do grapple because you can let yourself be hit. Um, what, go for it. What you got? What you got? You said. Um, oh, I said sure. I was oh, sure? good with okay. that. Uh, but also, like, it could just be like a strength check or. Yeah, we'll do strength. We'll do strength. I think that's. Um... That's a plus one. Should I do it with disadvantage? That that, that would make sense. Yeah, give me disadvantage. I'm sorry. Um, no, it's at, we can't have all of our Donkey Kong Country fun without point, consequence. Can I, can I do something really, really quick to assist with this? Sure. Is it hit um, me this is a bonus action. Weapon? So, so lore wise, this does actually, uh, this does actually track, or not, not lore wise, mechanics wise, uh, this does actually track. What is the name of this thing? Ah, yes. So as uh, as Theobard is is trying to uh, catch up to the minecart, I reach again into my my comedically large robes and I pull out my zilkoon, uh, which I didn't know what that was until earlier today. But it is an it is a wind instrument that quote functioned like a portable pump organ. <laughs> so it's basically a tiny handheld organ. <laughs> And I'm just going to start with absolutely no context, frantically playing it as fast as I can. Um, you now have a bardic inspiration die. Mike. <laughs> what? So it's a D4, right? I uh, am you, furious right now, D6. <laughs> I'm furious at you specifically. Yeah. We, we all I'm know so what mad the at, you. at this point. You're mad at Matt? I'm mad at you and I'm confused about Mike. But I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not going to look to see how many let's, of the audience has figured it out at this point. Uh, let's get uh, let, 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 let's let's get Theobard into the uh, yeah. into the mine cart real quick. And then we can talk about why you're <laughs> mad. We can have a little group therapy the session. My, my I'm part of inspiration. That's what she told me. Jump into, can I just try and jump again? I, I think you're getting pulled like, in by Tywin. Yeah, you're getting pulled in with to, a... Tywin's yeah. trying to pull you in. Yeah, and with the Bardic, that's a strength check of 17 on disadvantage. Yeah. So decent. Yeah, you pull him in. He might have started to fall, but you grab him. You pull him in. You all are right. all in a minecart riding away from a lich down deeper into a crypt. Uh, I, wait, as, 
Why as soon are you as he mad? grabs me, oh, yeah. as soon as he grabs me, I just want to be like, "You will make a great hero one day." <laughs> That's just enough for me to not push you out of this. <laughs> um, do we want to? Yeah, let's talk about yeah, yeah, our feelings. What's going on, guys? Right now, or do let's... we not want to expose right now? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. If you want to say wanna, something, I don't want to blow it up. But like, no, I think oh, that chat. I don't know how what percentage of you are familiar with character building in Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition. I'm sure a lot of you are, but I'm also sure there are a lot of people who are more beginners to the system. There's a concept known as multiclassing that I believe Jess has weaponized against us here. No, what you're talking about? Do you want to? You want to take? I... It from... Well, see, I'm confused about Mike because Mike's not doing any of the shit. Mike's not. <laughs> Mike might just me be doing and you more have been pulling out the most random of crap this whole time, <laughs> but Mike's not doing anything. So, <laughs> so that confuses I'll, me. I'll just say it. Uh, uh, I, I oh. refer, and I'm sure he'll say this himself in character at some point. Bishop uh, Omnigenus is uh, what I would call a general contractor. <laughs> he is a cleric. But he's also every other class in the game. Uh, he's one level of everything. And I don't think I'm the only person in the party with something similar I, to this. I will say, I don't want to give too much away, but my character is also everything. Thank you, Jess. Jess. That's, that's so weird Jess. that this would happen. You know, if I had Jess, a nickel for every Jess, party I member... Expected if I expected a triple blind from the way this whole thing was set up, I yeah. expected that. I did not expect that you would take the distinguishing feature of my character and, and make that also everyone. shared across the board. I just, like, <laughs> I talked to Jess about this, like, three hours ago at this point. Omnigenus is just a bastardization of Omnigenus, which is Latin for every class. His name is literally Bishop Every Class. <laughs> Like, I, I fully thought that was a gimmick for my guy mine, and my guy only. Yeah. Mine so chat did mine. know this. Yeah. The, 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 audience, the audience participation portion right, of this of course. was me telling them and then also asking them to throw me some undead monsters because I had some placeholder spots for undead monsters. Of course. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so the two of you. The two of you got all, got all, all multiclassed. Just grifted everyone. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm... I got a normal paladin build, pretty <laughs> standard guy. Don't... See, I don't believe you. You've not done anything <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> I don't know why Jess would only tell two of us to do this. Because I'm more is... offended. I... I don't want to go full in on reveals mm -hmm. right now, but I'm more offended because I expected the triple blind, but I was hurt. And I wanted to believe that you it wouldn't be a triple blind because you specifically said that I was perfect for it. And that meant a lot to me. And then <laughs> I... <laughs> to hear to know for sure that it was all bullshit hurts me a lot, but all right. I am hurt that I was socially manipulated in this social manipulation game. Yeah, yeah you here's, just got all Here's of the us. thing. I, I do feel bad now that you pointed it out, if, if you <laughs> felt good that I said you're perfect for this, because I... You all got more or less the same message from me with a handful of details. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Yeah. I uh, honestly, though, well, you are all perfect for this. The moment that you never sent in to our actual chat what the actual plot was, I was like, so I'm not the only one with privileged information. Clearly, everyone oh. else also got something. <laughs> mm. I. I was I was worried that by sneaking around too much I was gonna give it away. I'm not gonna um, lie, I did not see it coming beforehand. You oh. did fully get me because I, I think we talked about this. I do have such a documented history on this show of playing characters who lie about like what class they are. That's something I've done multiple so when Jess <laughs> asked me to do that, I didn't question it at all because I'd done it before. I'm just like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. I, <laughs> I just I thought it was because of the the canyon thing when I played against the party mm -hmm. that time, and I was like, ah, well, easy. But then the thing is, <laughs> I chose this class because all three of you have a reason why this would be normal for you, right? 
Matt does lie about things. You lied about oh, being okay. candy. Well, hold on. Let's not phrase it exactly <laughs> like that. Matt lies all the time. I want to say also, I yeah. vote. I was like, oh, I love lying to the party. And Jess was like, yeah, lying to Matt is fun, was their response. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, at the same time, I was. Well, I was never lied to because he's been the DM the whole time. <laughs> I, I was ch- chatting with Matt in that moment and very obviously lying to his face now in retrospect. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I am having a really good time lying to Matt. I'm going to end the stream. <laughs> Wait, so Matt's precedent was the line of duty of being a DM. Uh, Nikhil's was, Cl- was, yeah, I said Nikhil's was Clayton. Nikhil's was Canyon. Nikhil's was Clayton. Nikhil's yeah. Clayton. What was well, my precedent? <laughs> Nikhil's was Canyon and the fact that I knew he would jump at the chance to lie to Matt, right? Yeah. Uh, like, no, no, no. You, you know what? It. Yeah, what are you like? You're perfect true. for this. I was like, you know what? I could see why you think so. <laughs> yeah. That's why yeah. I'm hurt that you copy pasted that. The thing is, though, is all three of you were perfect because Mike has created people with such existential crises and problems and giving him a man who is level 12 and maybe not the greatest at anything but able to do lots of things and then putting him in the face of the strongest undead creatures that i can possibly imagine is like a perfect existential crisis right yeah Just yeah right? played us this is a silly like fuck that I, I would make i just played so every one of us Whatever. this this is unpacking that we can Delve into yeah. further on the after show. <laughs> yeah, we'll we spent like there. fifteen minutes talking about this, which speaks to how well just pulled this bullshit off. Thank you. But we should probably. I like, like, I like to imagine that we've just been in the minecart for the past twenty minutes. It's just a yeah. really yeah. long mine shaft. Yeah. So the just question then, silence, like, and it, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say the question then though is, have your characters figured this out? I was just going to say, we're in silence uh, for 20 minutes. Absolutely, absolutely. um, My guy, Mm -hmm. damn, I forgot. Theobard has figured it out after the dragon comment. Uh, Okay. um, That's why I said I'm also. Huh? Yeah, I'm Silver silver. Dragon. Exactly. Um, I definitely haven't. (laughs) I definitely have not. Uh, I'm a man of average intelligence uh, on a good day (laughs) and a lot of arrogance. (laughs) Uh, and then- Tywin kind of is awkwardly twiddling his thumbs in the minecart. Very little space between four people in a minecart. Like, so, Bishop had his stuff that I talked to him about earlier. And you know a lot of spells for a paladin. Very well trained. We're heading into the metaphorical belly of the beasts. I feel that it is a good time for us to show hands, maybe, so that we can have full context for what we're working with as we try to, you know, fight the concept of death. Um, no. I no, agree what with, do you I mean? Agree no, no, I, I think no I is think, the answer. I think I've said some stuff that I, now means I'm not saying other stuff, if you get what I'm saying. At this point, Lady Wickles will speak up and say, I agree with the druid. This is not a good, we, we don't need to mm. say everything. The what? The druid? Are you not? No, as far as I know, he's a paladin. Are you talking about him being a a druid? I'm a paladin, actually. I I thought you were a druid bard? You know, druid bard? I put the interest away really quick. What? I'm a very well studied person. Um, You might be thinking of the one who played a musical tune earlier. I'm allowed to have I... hobbies. <laughs> yeah, good. Cleric bard. It's been probably a thousand years. The times change. I've misunderstood. Yeah, exactly. So actually, it's common paladin training now for us upper heroes to learn from other disciplines to be functional. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. She clearly doesn't believe me, but she's not going to push. Um, <laughs> it's, I'm more convinced of the other two, so I don't really care. <laughs> as, as this conversation uh, is happening, uh, you you start to well, actually no, you know, give me give me a perception check again, everybody. This one will give you. We'll, we'll see how much time you I really have. I want to look at everybody's uh, proficiency lines after this. Uh, I got uh, a sixteen. Sorry, you got a sixteen. I got a six. 
Six. I got a five. All right, Matt, you and only you uh, noticed that the sound of a minecart on the minecart track has actually gotten a little louder, almost as if there are two minecarts on the minecart track. That's not a good oh. I, sh I surely have a spell for this. <laughs> I have so many. Actually, wait, I have a ridiculously bullshit spell for this. Um, can I, so can I see a minecart back there? Because there was glowing from this. Yes, you can see. How big is this? The fiery. Uh, I mean, it's about the size of a mine shaft, we'll say. Yeah. Just for... Can I mold earth over the tracks behind us? Yes, you can. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Okay. So you, you mold Earth over the tracks behind you, and um, it does stop you from having a minecart exit, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you're not sealing the I tunnel. Can, you're I just... can do it again. Oh. It's a cantrip. <laughs> you are sealing the tunnel? Uh, I, well, my goal was not necessarily seal the tunnel, because I don't know how big... My goal was just to put a wall that the minecart would run into behind us. Okay. That's incredible. Um, the minecart following you, and I assume when you cast Mold Earth, it brings everyone else's attention to this, so you all can see as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the minecart following simply. behind you does, in fact, hit this wall and do the thing that things do when they hit a wall and go up like that. And so you have now created a projectile oh. lich. Oh. I did. Um, that. That's kind of why I phrased it the way I did. I thought it would be funny. <laughs> I do. I'm I glad do that love you that. Up. I'm oh. glad you picked up what I was putting down there. Oh, a thousand percent. And uh, this lich is now flying towards the minecart. I'm going to give everybody one reaction, save for uh, Matt, who has caused this issue, um, Go. to do something before we start. Before I tell you where this lich lands, and we start initiative order. Go um. guards, fix the problems I caused. Poison spray is my best non-necrotic one, so I'm shooting poison at him. Okay. And Mike, what are you doing? Uh, I'll cast Gust to push him back so that he does not land in the minecart. <laughs> so just projectile it, Gust back. All right. So yeah, uh, Nikhil, Poison Spray is a saving throw, correct? Yes, con 11. All right. Um, and it's half damage on success or uh, full, or, say, or full negation. Trips Must succeed in a constitution or take. It just says or take. So yeah, I think it might just trips usually five. don't do half okay. damage on success, I think. So I've rolled a 14 on the dice. I don't even need to add anything to it for the Lich. Uh, he, he sure does He's fly five. through the Poison Spray fabulously. Mike, tell me how Gust works. Gust is a cantrip. Uh, and for the effect we're looking for, one medium or smaller creature that you choose must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed up to five feet away from you. And I feel like we would maybe justify disadvantage on that because, like, this is in the air. No right, I got two solid dice ground. What's, your, what's the saving? What do I have to, what do I have to beat? What is my saving throw, and where do I find that? Um, no, wait, so no, I know what that disadvantage. is. Uh, no, I don't know where that is. Where is my modifier? Um, save DC is 14. Okay. So the first dice, I rolled a 19. The second dice, I rolled a 4, which with uh, my bonus here does not beat this save. So you do, in fact push this lich back. It does not land in the cart with you for a hilarious Scooby-Doo-esque moment. Um, and instead, you hear a just a really gross thump. And uh, the lich is down for a moment, but before you can really see more, it, you, you're, you're rolling away. Good job, everyone! Oh. Um, <laughs> well, okay. I think we both did good help there. <laughs> I think that fucking thing has the amulet, and we're pretty screwed if we don't get to the helmet first, because acid did nothing. Um, we may want to get off the minecart soon if you are going to go for the helmet. It seems to be veering off into some sort of tunnel, which has intercepted my crypt. 
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's get yeah, off let's, of let's the thing. Get off. Do, okay, hold on. Follow up question. This minecart presumably is going quite fast. Do we have a way to slow it? We could use Gus. Sure, maybe. We, do. we could jump. I mean, we could jump out of a very fast moving minecart onto a stone tunnel floor. That is an option that is available to us. You also I, do not have a ton of time to have this conversation. This split is, is a, coming. That up is a soon. good point. Um, I'm yeah, going, I'm just I'm, I'm going casting gusts. I'm uh, casting gusts. Okay. I actually don't uh, have any incredible spells that could help with this. So yeah, just go for um, the gust and we'll work with it. I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna cast featherfall. Um, I guess just myself if I'm the only one who's getting off this thing. All right. You I guys think, try to slow my cart for no reason. I think jumping and casting featherfall, smart, that works quite well. Um, I think slowing the minecart with Gust is also really cool and innovative and a fun way to use uh, cantrips that for some reason you have like a bunch of. Um, <laughs> and I, uh, both of you are doing it and yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, minecart is slowing down, uh, which will make your jump to get off of it easier. Uh, do you want to jump or do you want to keep trying new things? Um, let's, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. I'm just looking through my really weirdly long character sheet to see if I have anything that can help. It's so, strange. so long. I didn't even realize that I also had divide sets until after you'd cast it. I was like, oh, that would have been helpful. <laughs> um, so since the gig is up, you can look at chat. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll pull it up. Actually, I'll pull it up in OBS. We'll see. Uh, we'll try out the new system. Um, uh, I will say, I'll just, just I'll just jump. Because like, right. we don't have much time. We're being chased uh, by a lich. I am going to enter a rage and then jump to get that damage resistance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Psych myself up and then just tiny man vaults out of this minecart. Both of you give me an athletics check. Uh, okay, that is... I do have advantage on that. That's a net 20. You look so fucking cool jumping out of this minecart action movie shit. Uh, and I got a 17. Yeah, yeah, but you look pretty cool too. You both passed the DC. Um, so you both you both jump out a little a little later than um Mikhail did, but you you both you both make it. Um <clears throat> you know, Theobard got out first and easiest, and the other two of you you put in the effort. Uh, and as you do that, you look over and uh, Lady Lady Wilk, uh, Lady Wickles is just she she's also right there with you. You didn't see her jump. You didn't see her fall. Not sure how that happened. And uh, she's also just like a little too close. You know how undead don't know personal space and are just vaguely creepy. Yeah. Uh, at this point, still in my rage. <laughs> I kind of look around at everyone I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's get this fucking thing. Let's see this guy's got the amulet. We're going to get the helmet. We're going to take him out. I'm psyched up. Um, I want to look at something about rage real quick. I can end it early, but I'm not going to. No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, well. Um, if you all are um, ready. Can I, oh, go ahead. can I take the weapon back from him? You can definitely try. I'm going to try. I feel like if he's raged up, he may not notice. Uh, yeah, go, go, for, go for pickpocket. It's 15. I have plus six to slide a hand. Uh, I don't know why this is not working. My... Oppose. I'll, I'll let you do, I mean, obviously your DM, but like I am raging. Uh, what's your call for my oppose check on that, Jess? I, uh, so... I want to say, because I feel like disadvantage on a post check while raging feels a little unfair. Are you cool with giving um, Nikhil just a, like a, a 1d4? Yeah, you're DM, you're DM whatever call okay. it. Um, yeah. Is this Add 1d4 to your roll. sleight of hand or perception? Uh, I will let you choose. I okay, think, um, yeah. Hey, great. I got a four. So that's 19 now. That's 19, much better. And I don't have a, no advantage, no disadvantage on this. Oh, obviously no Correct. advantage. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 12. And that's with yeah. a plus 10. So, yeah, you snatch the the, got it back. the cool <laughs> rod very easily. Theobard, you now have the rod. Fantastic. <laughs> um, 
so yeah uh i mean we should, you we keep... should... sorry go ahead like i said you want to keep going do you want to keep walking oh yeah we should we should definitely go 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 at a brisk pace yes okay let's get the thing and then let's be done and then let's uh, go home do we know what direction we're going in lady wickles do you know oh. what direction we're going in yes 100 percent. we just need to go this way she says pointing at the way that is clearly not a mine track um and she begins walking uh as she walks you kind of hear what sounds like a splashing sound and she's like ah you there's water here and it wasn't here last time um i'm pretty dead so nothing really bothers me but you know there's water and as you sort of catch up there is indeed water but it is not water on the floor like you would expect it is about one foot of water but the the the, the puddle is this way it's vertical you've got one foot of water that covers the entire entrance and just creates kind of like almost a barrier of water there. Does anybody well, else here have the shape water spell? I got it, but I'll have I, to calm down a bit before I can use it. I have destroy water. I can destroy water. Hell yeah. Right. Destroy Gotta it. destroy some water. You got this. I might have been stumped a little bit on this one. I, I think I've been hoisted my own petard here. Um, You're a little bit. The I one didn't know petard, I know that would hoist me. Also, my to destroy water. only a minute, so I guess that's probably going to run, run out soon. Yeah, I, I'm I, very uh, angry man for a hot second while we're walking. If, if it makes you feel better, whenever I play a character with spell casting, I usually take creator destroy water because I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a generally useful spell, and then I never use it. So, Well, I'm, well, I'm glad you get to use it here. I, I, you're, you're casting it on this water square thing? Yes, I am. Honestly, okay. I I use magic stone on almost every character I create because it is the gambit spell. And one oh, day I yes. always tell myself I'll use it and I've never used it. And then Matt got to use it and that's why I was mad that I found out that that's how Matt was multiclassing. <laughs> <laughs> I I knew I knew there was a chance that that puzzle was going to uh be the one that gave everything away. I think that was good putting... though. I think it worked. It yeah. was. Yeah. It was, good, it good, was good, a good, clever good. way to make the reveal a mechanics based. I also, because I knew that I would know if everyone mm-hmm. was like lying based on whether or not Matt was lying at the beginning. And then he was. And I was like, easy peasy, everyone's yeah. lying. But the reveal that everyone was both blessed hit me so hard. We all had the same lie. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it's just too much fun. Yeah, you destroy this water. You, you completely circumvent, you completely circumvent an entire puzzle, and I'll, y'all figure out what that was about in the after show. That's fine. Um, yeah. yeah, okay. Well, the water was destroyed. Not much happened there. I guess we keep moving. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, not, it's nice that it. they don't always have to be complicated, you know? Sometimes we just get what a win. Even- wasn't even really a danger. I mean, it was just a puddle of water. It went I away turned, very easily. I tore tor- towards I, Lady Wickles, and I'm like, "What did you? Was that puzzle just going to see if anyone didn't want to get wet? Is this an anti tabaxi puzzle? What's? I. It wasn't. Well, we didn't put that. I didn't. I think that water was undead. What I found what? with a lot of water's crypts, not alive. Can water, can water be undead? I don't. It felt undead when I, I just wanted to make sure you were aware of this is fine I'm just going to keep going yeah um, let's keep going we have water, important what Doctor business. Who bullshit I don't know that one was from chat <laughs> <laughs> someone's watched <laughs> the waters of Mars recently so you weren't hoisted on your petard you were hoisted on theirs well I was I was hoisted on um, the fact that I've given you guys a million spells each, and one of them was super convenient to yeah. uh, destroy a. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a couple <laughs> spells that can deal with that actually. I have like um, I have multiple freezing spells, shape water. Uh, oh, we've freezing spent about, worked, like what, what 15, 20 minutes on the puzzle that didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Uh, so I guess yeah, you we move forward and you get to uh, the, the the sort of bottom room the back room of this of this crypt and this room is 
ornate. There's a there's a casket up on a like a raised pedestal thing. Um but also in there there's a table that looked like it was once nice. Um some remains of a candle there. You can see that two people clearly spent a lot of time here together. And there's there's a space next to that casket where uh where a second casket probably should have been. And Lady Wickles goes Finally. Uh, your statue is over there. I have waited a thousand years for this, and I don't really care about what's happening at the moment. Uh, and she walks up, and she lays down in her husband's coffin with him. Uh, oh. And has just a sort of nice moment. as She's finally oh. reunited with her lover. Uh, y'all, have a, y'all have a lich uh, yeah. moving in your direction. Presumably uh, he didn't stop chasing you after he fell off the minecart. <laughs> I imagine there's like a nice, calm, sort of solemn moment, and then we hear like an undead demonic screech from the tunnel, and everyone's like, ah! (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I like that. That's so cute. (laughs) You were warned! Leave this place! Helmet, 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 helmet! (laughs) Helmet! So, you. Go ahead. No, no, no. I I was just going to say, what's the situation? You go ahead. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you you look and the, the, she said, you know, the statue is over there and it is. And there is a statue of uh, of, of, a, of a knight, presumably Sir Wickles, uh, in his ornate armor, holding his helmet. Um, now, what exactly did she say? We had to put the helmet on him. She right? said you had to take the helmet off of him. Mm-hmm. Take oh. the helmet off of his head. Yeah, but has she like returned it. to dead now, or is she wait, still like that? Wait, let me. Oh, make she's sure, returned to dead. Let me make sure I understand the situation. We had to take the helmet off of his head, and you just said he was holding it. Like yes. I turned it. Do we? Do we stick it back on and then take it off again? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Be when your bar- spells aren't working, you have to unplug the arcane focus and plug it back in. Absolutely. Okay, we have a lot of science to do in a very short amount of time, and we have to confirm some things that are very quick. So we would look like a real bunch of fucking dumbasses if we put the helmet back on and that Who's turned on the ammo. So, Theobard, standpoint at the tunnel. The moment you see the lich, shoot him. Tell, if he, tell us if he dies. If he doesn't, we do helmet. Yes? A, a, a point, team. I'd like mm-hmm. to hear do the we? point. Do we technically know if he has the amulet or not? No. I just... I'm... We can can definitely give just shooting him a go. I mean, and I'm just like, brandish the fraud again. Just like, like, when he gets here, I'll try. (laughs) Um, okay. What, what, what? Is that the plan, is to shoot him when he gets here? My (laughs) a billion options, my a billion things that I have. Um, okay. Let's see. I this this is gonna be some very specific mechanics rules lawyering nonsense. Um, because of my ranger thing, ranger a class that I use so much, I have advantage on checks to uh, I have advantage on intelligence checks to recall information about them. Now I believe that that is meant in a general sense of I can know things about undead, my favorite enemy. But the phrasing of recall information about him, do I have advantage on remembering whether I saw an amulet or not? Uh, you know what? Give me a roll. It's a slim chance, but you got advantage. Do, do I... You get two rolls. Okay, okay. Roll it. That's that's the type of. One level. I'm not gonna be lawyering. We gotta go for. I need a real. I need a real high roll Um, to. So this is this is just a flat a flat roll with advantage. Yeah. Okay. That's a three. I have advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a fifteen. I plus. I thought it was just a flat roll. What's the stat on it? Is it just int? If it's int, it's still fifteen. If it's history, uh, give me give me perception. Oh, in that right, because history history is too old. Okay, uh, yeah, you've not actually seen an amulet on this guy. All right, we might have made this a little bit more complicated for ourselves. Remember, um, remember when I, said I don't want to point fingers, but to be fair, we all had a chance to shoot him with something. 
somebody insisted on holding the rod Wait, at that moment. That's a good point. I you you took the rod and I don't didn't know. Well, I've brandished so, it by now, so like you, okay. you know this, by this point. At this point, I'm that's now realizing. So funny. In in character, at the same time that I am in real life, I'm kind of like, hey. Wait, wait a second. When did you get that? I just start fishing it around does not in my matter. Ropes. What matters is you had the chance to use it, and you didn't. And that shows why you can't be trusted with it. Uh, you start to hear as, that as scraping on protest. stone sound again. Good point. And I... She laid down next to a corpse. Can I inspect she... that corpse? Yeah, you can. Cool. Will that just be an investigation check, or can I tell you that I'm looking for the amulet on uh, the corpse? <laughs> yeah, the amulet's on the corpse. Okay, God, I put it. the amulet, and then <laughs> I run to the fucking statue and put the helmet on. This well, is, let's go. <laughs> this is just that TikTok on it. Door was unlocked. Son of a bitch. <laughs> It's the sound I did for the video I posted. <laughs> um, <laughs> Amulet is still there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so, okay. Well. So, so yeah. what's his face? Is invincible now? That's nice. Uh, is he invincible? I don't know. Well, I, on, we have a pretty solid plan. fucked with us for the last... What, approaching four hours consistently, and we've fallen for it every time except for the water door. Yep. Yeah, it's the one that you didn't fall for. All right, so I think I think at this point, you guys got a lich at your doorstep. I shoot it. Yeah, shoot it. You shoot him? Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a flat roll and tell me what you got. D20? Yeah, of D20. Okay. Give it advantage for reasons I will explain in a moment. With advantage, that's 19. Okay. Uh, I give you advantage because I, I, it's funnier if you know this role is a success. Uh, you fire and you get that same intense recoil that you've seen every other time this thing is fired. It is a violent just exertion of light and it hits this lich and nothing happens. Take the helmet off! <laughs> I'm... I'm gonna... Okay, I take the helmet off. <laughs> you, you. Okay, wait. As he takes the helmet... I'm gonna whip out my Zulkoon again and start frantically playing to give you a bardic. Okay, and let's roll initiative, shall we? Yeah, that makes sense. Did he kill us? <laughs> like, that makes he some sense. Kill us. Uh, 16. I feel like there's been a lot of 16s today. That is a dirty 20. Oof. Okay. That try this is... not again. <laughs> That's a ten. I do love that I created this character and as I got my five thousand and seventeen spells that we could use, I was like, Wow, I have never used most of these. I can't wait for combat. And then I immediately got this little fucking gun. That's <laughs> all I'm doing. I'm sorry. I I, no, I, I it's totally fine. No, it's I'm funny. down with the gun. It's yeah. just hilarious. I'm looking at all this like, oh yeah, that was gonna be fun. It was the best way to not immediately blow everyone's cover when throwing giant level enemies at you. Okay, so we have initiative. And it sounded like Nikhil is going first. You bet your ass. I'm trying again. Maybe it's right. effective. <laughs> you fire? Give me a roll. With advantage? No, not this time. Oh, of course. That'd be uh, I just wanted to communicate to you all do, what was happening. That was, do I get that to was pop a my bardic inspiration bonus action before this? Oh, action? yeah, you started okay. that before we rolled initiative, so I will, I will, yeah. D6, bardic, whenever you need it. That's a 19. <laughs> we won't use it for this. All right. Yeah, uh, just violently, this rod fires, again, holy light, the most beautiful light you've ever seen, and it hits this green robe, weird man, and does nothing. Mm. Don't like it. Mm. Ha <laughs> and is it still coming towards me? Uh, yeah, oh, well, I, you, I think you are probably the point of interest. And actually, the, do you have a bonus action you want to take? Because the next turn is belonging to your enemy. Um, I absolutely have a bonus action, probably. Let me look at my bonus action section and see what I can do. Um, that gives someone else party inspiration. I can go into a rage. Uh, <laughs> we all can. 
Let's see. Is that smart? Should I be devoid of magic going forward? <laughs> um, no. I guess. Oh wait, once per short rest, you can use a bonus action to regain one d10. Okay, I'll use that later. But I'm fine right now. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. So this oh, lich. Oh, actually, I lied. One of my bonus actions is magic stone. I chuck a stone at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how does that work? I've actually never used magic stone naturally. Um, magic stone is a. I have to roll to hit, and then if it does hit him, it does a pitiful amount of damage. But basically, it's just a stone that's a little fancy. Okay, yeah, uh, go for it. Roll to hit. That is a fourteen to hit. All right. Uh, roll damage for me. That is a three for damage. Woo! All right. So you fire off this stone and you hit center of mass on this uh, lich and you get kind of a oomph sound. And I chuck a fucking rock. <laughs> and then uh, the lich is going to look at you and would you mind giving me a constitution save? This is the end of... Uh... Theobard Zuzu, my friends. Constitution oh. save. Oh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. All right. You will be taking half damage on this. Um, Thank you. Take six damage. Okay. And then I'll do that. But also, I have another thingy that I can do when I get damaged. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Is it. Oh, it's in spells. Uh, what what is it? Hold on. Spare the dying, shocking, uh, so can play poison for him and him and him. I'm so sorry. I have never played this many spells. Hellish rebuke. That's what it's called. Okay. Uh, you point your finger, and the creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes two d10 fire damage on a failed save, but I think no, yeah, it's two d10 or half as much damage on on a successful one. Okay. So you're point. Can you weird question? Describe to me how you're pointing. I point at him. At his hand out stretch. All right, you're pointing right at him. Okay. Uh, what what do I need to be on this save? Uh, let's see. Dex save of fifteen. Okay. Um, rolled. Yes, we have saved. I'm, I'm taking half damage, or you take half save? damage. Yeah. So right. let me give you the damage. The damage is six somehow, so you take three more damage. You're welcome. All right, three damage. Uh, fire, just hits the center of this man. Hurts. Great. So for the All record, right. I have impacted it the same amount it's impacted me. That is a successful. That's fight. true. Uh, this this lich is going to take another action now. Um, and you have hurt it the most, so it's gonna hurt you quite that a bit. Can sense. you give me a deck save this time? Uh, yes, give me one second. I have to say that I cast the spell that I think I'm about to cast again. Um, deck save is a nat 20 plus six, so 26. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You, you, um, just like this strange green ray fires at you, it, it misses you. It looks like it would have hurt. Um, but you like fucking dodged and weaved out of the way. And, you know, um, I do a thing for nat 20s, uh, defensively in combat to give you your reaction back. Um, I don't think I've said that at the start of this. This is just a thing that I do. So you can react again like before your turn. That's I, neat. Um, I, I assume Hell's Rebuke was a reaction. It is, it is one reaction, yeah, but it's when you. Which you take in response to being damaged. So mm -hmm. I don't know. If, can I do it again? Or that it wasn't damaged this time. You cannot do it again, but you do have another reaction available to you before your turn. Um, um, if there's reasons to react. However, that is the end of that lich's turn. Uh, I think I will run towards Bishop, and that'll be that. Okay. Uh, Bishop, I believe now it is your turn. Uh, okay. I may be overthinking this, but I'm wondering 
if this guy is somehow indestructible because the amulet is like on the corpse that it is on. I'm wondering if that has any weirdness. Uh, so what I'm going to do but is without moving from the spot that I'm in, I'm going to use mage hand and I'm just going to have my mage hand take the amulet off the corpse. Uh, like trying to sort of divert attention away from that area. I, I, I took I took the amulet off. Oh, yeah, wait. he's wearing it. Wearing it. Totally, okay, never mind. Yeah. I to, I must have been checking a stat when you said that. I totally missed that. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Uh, okay, let me... Yeah, that was probably when I was pulling something up. In that case, I need to come up with a new plan. Um, if I cast Protection from Evil and Good, is that one where I can do it to more people at higher levels? I don't... It, it might be. I feel like it should be, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, if it doesn't say it, I'm not going to give it to no, you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm probably just thinking of a similar effect. Um, Charm person is probably a bad idea. I'm kind of tempted to just also do hellish rebuke. Well, uh, I mean, I have this such a such a long, such a long list of abilities that I do have. <laughs> I um <laughs> if I attack him, I could get sneak attack. I don't think that's a good idea. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna use until I come up with a better idea. I'm just gonna use hellish rebuke. Also, okay. Um, uh, I'm doing a. Save against that? How do, I've Let already me forgotten. pull it up and double check. That is the dex save of... It is a warlock spell for me. 15. Okay, describe yourself pointing at this man for me. Right. I know that's weird. Um, in all honesty, I think that... <laughs> I think Omnipotence is having a bad time. And for the sake of funny and also for the sake of doing something different than uh, than Nikhil did for strategy, it's just frantic. It's, <laughs> it's just like spamming, pointing at this guy. Just... All right. Uh, roll a d4 and let me know what you get. A d4? I have a d4. Oh hand. my god. Three. Oh my god. Three? Okay. Uh, I will roll a deck save. Um, that is a seven, which probably does seven not fail. save. Uh, and that damage, uh, which I guess wait, I sorry, would... that's a seven plus. That's a ten. Ten still, uh, Should... ten still okay. fails. So that is two d ten fire damage. Um, I could have cast it at third level, but I didn't say that beforehand. So obviously, I'm not going to do that now. Uh, which means it, <laughs> it is a mighty five damage. I rolled a four and a one. Okay. Uh, any bonus actions, or is that your turn? Um, I'm sure I do have a bonus action somewhere in this mess. Um, I did you use your bardic, uh, Nikhil, or do you still have no, that I've not yet. on? Okay. I still have it. Um, just for the sake of, I have one more, and I might as well throw it on. I'm gonna uh, keep playing my Zulkun. Uh Tywin. You also now have a D6 bardic, just as something to do with the bonus action, uh, and then nice. that's what I got. And then it is Tywin's turn. You've been deep in thought over there. So I don't think the rod doesn't work anyway. Yeah. Lich probably doesn't have the amulet. Mm-hmm. I have the amulet. The helmet is going back on the statue. I thought you were putting the helmet on the with that choice. No, I took it off. Yeah, um, he took it off after the first blast to see if the second yeah. blast worked. We're try- We're doing a process okay. of elimination method here that's working great. And now fine. I'm hearing that you didn't know that, so is there any chance the second shot should have worked? No. <laughs> okay. Dang. Cool. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. You can put the, the helmet back on the statue if you wish. Helmet's back on the statue. Um, and as far as I can see, the lich walks. Correct. Correct. Uh, to I those cast specific Greece. questions that are always so I good. Cast, <laughs> I cast Grease where the Lich is standing. Uh, it must make a dexterity saving throw or it will uh, accrete or it will fall prone. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to roll this, and I'm rolling with disadvantage for reasons I think I will probably tell you momentarily. What am I trying to beat? My save is... Is it higher than a 14. six? 14. Okay. Yeah, the save is 14. <laughs> so, the lich falls down, and when he does, it is a grotesque thing to witness, because this man with many folds and crooked shapes collapses and uh, bends in ways that a body is not supposed to bend, or at least not one body. Uh, however, three gnomes three stacked gnomes on each other in a coat. Oh my god! Oh shit! I thought this would be like an anglerfish thing, and that something was because you said the lights earlier. But that makes. Do more we sense. get fucking three gnomes scammed? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've been getting scammed for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> and three gnomes in a trench coat stand up and. Go. Uh, Go? They run away? (laughs) Yeah. We're still in initiative order. Um, Uh. And standing up. So, uh, mechanically, I rolled three initiatives. One for each gnome. Each gnome got one action. And uh, the last gnome, whose turn it was just now, uh, was the legs. The legs rolling dexterity saves with disadvantage. Um... (laughs) If you pointed normally the way that you point at a person, you're pointing at the top gnome because that's the face. If you point weirdly, like Matt did, you had to roll a d4 and hope you didn't get a four so I could figure yes. out which gnome you hit. This uh, is and such a you... good idea, actually. God damn it. <laughs> this is really clever. Thank you. Can uh, I say <laughs> no fucking idea at all of any of what your <laughs> tricks were. I just thought it's a good idea to have <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like you figured this out yep oh my god so Greece's um, most important spell that's the <laughs> takeaway here guys so our our gnome the one gnome whose turn it was in initiative order stands up which takes half of his movement and then he goes i surrender you ought to that would make sense Fucker. in your situation yes uh, uh, and the other two gnomes also put their hands up that they are not standing um, and I think unless you are going to execute these gnomes this probably ends uh, combat is yeah. is one of these gnomes the one that gave me the thing? I'm assuming- yes oh. <laughs> you do in fact see Winifred and uh, Velmont and Dalphine the other one that you hadn't met because you right. go buy things from them. In that case, we're not done. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just, well, no, because I want to take my fucking halberd I've never used, and I want to <laughs> brandish it at them. and be like, did you make the undead gorilla thingies? Uh, the, the, Velmont's going to be like, well, I'm a, 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 a circle of spores druid, and um, we use, uh, uh, she points at, um, at, 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 uh, Winifred goes, used a spell to bring a dead mold colony back to life. And I, I just sort of shaped mold. it. And yeah, it, it's. So we would never it have was, died. Was, we could have gone mold. in without the rod and been absolutely fine. I could have thrown fire at that thing and it would have been fine. That's what yes. I hear here. Um, but if you used the rod on us, it would do nothing and make us look very scary. And I think a, a sane person would have tried that sooner and then left when nothing happened. Um, but wait, but what about Lady Wickles? How did you fake that? Who? Oh, the, the woman with you in the minecart. I don't, yeah, she wasn't with you, she was with us, but like. She's- we we no, found but... her when we got here. Oh. And and you did what exactly? What was the point of any of this? We can talk about the dead lady later. You gave us a weapon. You <laughs> pretended to make us fight you. The you don't you didn't see the the mine? You didn't you didn't see the mine tracks? No. And uh 
I understand so, what you're doing. Why were we needed? We uh, we didn't call you. The the village Nor- called Norman did. us. Yeah, we didn't to get rid we were, of them. We were just trying to scare people away by pretending to be a lich, so no one came to the crypt, so that way we could keep mining this, out gold. This harkens back to a tale I once heard long ago about a an incorporated order of mystery solvers. Oh, you mean you mean you mean Norman's old group? Oh fuck you! <laughs> God uh, damn it! His old dog Scrub. <laughs> yeah, we were. Nor Norville Norman Norman Norville I, Rogers is Shaggy's name. I, uh, yeah, no, I if you talked so, it more, you would have met Scrub. Yeah. Jess, I'm I'll, the guy who did an entire two episode arc of a main <laughs> campaign that was just a Power Rangers reference, and I'm mad at how well this was disguised. Oh my god! How did we're all idiots? You have played. I, what would have happened if I when I first opened the doors? Because I didn't know what those monsters you said were. If I had just attacked them, what was the the plan? If they were just dead. I can't. Well, I kind of had faith that that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Your faith was well placed. I wasn't touching any of that shit. <laughs> I I I. I that first encounter was going to be different depending on who walked in the door first. And you like a bit. And what I better bit, it. what better bit than open door, see something horrifying, close the door and say no. And I was kind of banking on the I fact. I have been read like a fucking yeah. book. Bro, this yeah, whole Jess thing. Got and it's all truly us. insulted. Jess got all of us consistently <laughs> also, today. I, again, I saw the triple blind coming. Did not expect a quadruple blind. That's, that's a rare twist in there. <laughs> Everyone's lying. The villains are lying. Yep. I knew there was going to be... Everything. I knew there was going to be a last thing. I didn't think it would be specifically <laughs> three gnomes in a lich coat. That's so fucking good. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god. Um... If someone also, had said, did I point even, out the names of the gnomes, which I did not pick up on either, but yeah. Yeah, they're Fred, Velma, and Daphne. Yeah. Winifred, mm. Velmont, Delphine. Um, oh, Velmont, also, that's with a V. I get you. Yeah. You told the, us. the overlay colors, the overlay colors are the mystery machine. I, I told you light blue yeah, and green. I did specifically ask Jess what colors you wanted for the overlay. And she was like, do blue and green. It'll make sense later. And I forgot <laughs> that, that that was said. Um, and also, Jess, the fact that you told us, the fact that you told us this at the beginning of the episode when you were like, the only night I could think of is the one from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I did. I also straight up said we'd have a nice Scooby-Doo moment if this lich landed in the minecart with you yeah, guys. I think um, that, oh my God. You did. There was a- Can I ask, uh... <laughs> I feel it. We're definitely going into and everything and after show territory. Um, Jess, do you have any epilogue wrap up stuff you you want to do with this one shot? I think given closure, you take these people down to the village. You tell them, hey, there was no lich. Somehow, at least to the villagers, your cover is not blown. So the greedy, the greedy, uh, capitalist church organization that sent a temp instead of an actual cleric to deal with a lich gets off scot-free and the 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 hometown hero who's lied about his adventures to his friends and family gets off scot-free and the mercenary who lied on his resume gets off scot-free hey not only scot-free i'm a hero now we uncovered a huge ass gold vein in this paltry village that's true. You're probably like the savior of this village. Yeah. I'm sorry. Wait, the plan here is that you uncovered the illegal mining of the thingy that was being covered up by a, a fake monster and you're a hero because you told them you could continue to mine the thingy? <laughs> yeah. I, but this time it's the people the can have it. Yeah. yeah. The people can go mine it now. It's fine. Yeah. This is not the gnomes. This is anti-gnomes having gold. Well, the, the, the gnomes, the gnomes <laughs> broke into a crypt to get more gold. I don't and, know. And Tywin did the But if the town just opens the crypt for mining, that's no longer a bad thing. The rest of it, the tunnel. <laughs> there was a different, Tywin, there was another tunnel, just as there was a different branch of mm. tunnel. 
<laughs> oh my god. I mean, on top of that, Tywin probably has a working uh immunity amulet amulet now. So uh, you do have an amulet that game. works that works great on keeping you Im Im immortal if you are undead. Yeah. It does not work. That, it does that's what I thought the twist now. was gonna be. And then it was the opposite. It was that the undead, the weapon against the undead wasn't working because they were not undead, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, it sucks. Yeah. I resisted. I have spells that are necrotic, and I was like, that's not going to be helpful in this campaign. I should have <laughs> used literally any of them. I, I can't <laughs> believe that, like, I had, spe we, I probably, we all had some variation of a spell that could have exposed this as not undead in two seconds. And none of us. Yeah, well, none of us. Of us it was, it was undead us moss. Any of these things, have we would have been we, totally fine. If we had battled Mike a single, right. we need to keep on track and save this for the after. That's Not true. Not to cut That's the true. kill yeah. off, but we've also been appreciating Jess's bit once again for a very long time. <laughs> I oh, thank you all God. for letting me do this. Good. This is one of I I have had this uh, one shot at variations of it because it never plays out the same in my pocket for a long time. I've been DMing for at this point most of my life, um, and I've been running this with people for years and years and years because it's always so much fun. Um, thank you. the The Scooby Doo part of it it was original to this. The majority of it is just the multi classing thing. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah. add one more piece and i can go into it more but thank you all so much for playing i i this is actually my first time dming on stream uh just, yeah so thank you and thank you all for watching uh, does anybody have any announcements before we cut to the after um, show pretty much just the same stuff as the beginning i think which is pretty basic but we'll go over it again for anyone who wasn't there uh i'll say it again even though it, it didn't really come up which is good this was technically the first not technically it just literally was the first uh run of Dean Dorks on my new system. I'm using uh, my PC that I now have. I'm using OBS instead of Streamlabs. Uh, everything seemed good. Uh, I didn't see oh, any yeah. tech errors that uh, that were chalked up to this. Uh, I'm, I guess I'll also throw this out there. Uh, if anyone watching the VOD notices like audio desynchronization or anything like that after the fact, do put it in the comments of the YouTube. I will check to make sure. Uh, but yeah, since everything went good on like the baseline test, now I can start trying to do fancier things with a PC and not running the stream off a Mac. So that'll be a good sign. Speaking of opportunities to do fancier things, Minor Infractions does resume normally next week. Same time, same place. Little mid-season break is over. Um, I will say, I'll just go ahead and toss this out here. There is maybe some scheduling stuff that's going to change for like the end of Minor Infractions. Nothing huge, but like we don't have a set last episode finale date yet just because we have to coordinate with a bunch of people in the next campaign stuff like that but like the next couple weeks will be fine there will be advance warning if and when anything changes uh other than that normal stuff we have a patreon if you want to hear the after show where we uh yell at jess for lying to all of us for another 30 minutes probably uh you mm -hmm. can give us money and get that uh follow nikhil's instagram i'm gonna say it before nikhil has a chance to he has 10,000 yeah. followers, almost. Almost? Almost. Over? Almost 10,000 Almost. Followers. So close. I Ooh. lost a lot because I posted the same thing I posted on TikTok about people being dumb if they're mad about the Silver Surfer on oh, Instagram. And, so, and on TikTok, that got me 300 more followers. And on Instagram, it lost me 20. So I should have done something audience. also like <laughs> that, but I didn't bother. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got. If anyone else, I mean, I stole Nikhil's announcement right out from under him, but if anyone else... Uh, you guys should go ahead and follow my Instagram. If you oh, have that's a good idea. How many, how many followers do you have? Smart. Let's check. Let's see. 9,895. Wasn't, it, wasn't need... it 20 followers more before you made that post about Silver Surfer? <laughs> wow, brutal. Wait, actually... If you... No, yeah, this is right. <laughs> no, it's gone up again. So that's, what's hap hey. that's what happened. Because it was in the 80s yesterday. So we're going up. Look at that. All right. Congratulations. I only need 105 more, guys. Come on. I just need something with a K. That's all I need in my life. <laughs> uh, also, right. follow me on the socials, mostly YouTube, TikTok, and I suppose the Instagram at Mike Funny Boy. That's boy with an I. It's WrestleMania this weekend, so I might be yelling about man and spandex. So if you're a <laughs> fan of comic books, you'll feel right at home. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, and if that is and, everything, oh, Jess, duh, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, and, and follow me as well. Uh, Pirate Princess Jess on TikTok, Pirate Princess Jessica on Instagram, because the other name was already taken. Um, 
That's me as I... well, actually. If you want to follow Pirate Princess Jess on, t- on Instagram, <laughs> that's also me. Yeah, that's um, true. That's true. You have to actually follow both of us. If you follow, if you follow me, follow him. We're getting we're getting you to ten k. Um, uh, yeah, I I play D and D a lot, and I make content. Um, stay tuned for news about something that may or may not happen in a few months for a, a big D and D charity stream, and um, you know. Follow me so you can get those updates and you can come watch more dumb shenanigans and uh, maybe maybe help some people out. Um, um, hell yeah. If you like dumb shenanigans, also you could follow my Twitch, which is the thing I've done for months and I've forgotten to promote ever. Um, <laughs> so that's a thing that exists. You can follow that. All right. And with all the announcements done, uh, we will see you all next week for the uh, resuming of Minor Infractions. I don't have an end card for this episode, so we're just going to cut it there. The next episode's next week. That's the most important information that's usually on the end card anyway. So thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you all for enjoying and participating in the Scooby-Doo shenanigans. <laughs> and we will see you all next week. Bye! And I need to find the stop streaming button. There it is. <laughs>